Okay, boys. When I give the signal, we sink. The mayor? The Raffi best. doesn't know that. <laughs> Raffi doesn't know that. Damn it. Raffi does not Damn know it. that. Oh, oh Martin God. is in the Twitch know. chat and he's this, wondering this... how presentable you are, Emil. The mayor? Oh, the the mayor. best. The best. Very best. <laughs> Jesus. The that's, best. Too, that's too difficult to sink, dude. Don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's so I won't try. Sink clap it. Sink clap it. I won't it. try. Sink clap in three, two, one. Welcome to the latest episode of Good Trades, episode number 60, I want to say. Oh. Right? 60, huh? Yeah, this it's is 59. This is the no, no, 59. Uh, minus 59? 59, 59. Yep. 59 sure? Almost at 60, oh, yeah, yeah, you're a bit yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 60 minus 1. 60 minus 1. Yes, all almost maps. nice. Um, it's almost 60. <laughs> almost nice. It's penultimate 60. But um, <laughs> it's... Uh, it, yeah, I, I don't know. It's it, I don't know if this is the same with you guys. The, all the days are just blurring together, and like a week goes by, and like whoosh, nothing. Yeah, really super whoosh. happens. <laughs> oh, I, you feel I, that? No, no. Actually, I've been really busy at work, so like the weeks have been going, but like not in like a whoosh. But having no travel and seeing no people face to face is doing mm-hmm. something to my brain and i don't understand it is it a good something <laughs> or a bad something <laughs> yeah, probably a bad something <laughs> this 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 probably. This, probably. this whole corona thing has gotten my brain working in a really weird way that i don't quite understand yet but once i understand it I'm a tell you boys. <laughs> but I, I don't know, That's, dude. You know what else you could tell us, Fishmaster Podcaster? Your name. Mm. My name is Emil, and I'm joining you today here on the Good Trades Podcast, episode 59. Sure. Yeah. And then on top of, oh, no, below Emil on the. Below? On, on the. Uh-oh. the yeah. Uh, conveniently <laughs> hidden below Emil is. The noobliest of the, the coobliest. <laughs> the coobliest. Okay. What is this? The migliest of the Samsons. Mig Samson, what's up, my baby? Gorsh. <laughs> Hi. What? What? Yeah. What? That's what's up. That's what's something. up, everybody? And yeah. oh, you see, this is this is what happens when we were locked down for more yeah. than thirty days, and yeah, mm-hmm. we forgot what we are. It's like day thirty oh, three. We forgot so, what we look maybe. like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also have forgotten what I look like. Um, and uh, hopefully someone who has not forgotten is the person directly above me on the Discord. It's Migoy Mendoza. Yo, yo, yo. yo. The best mayor. The I, I fucked that up. Never mind. Can we run it back? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do it. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take two, take two. The best. Yeah. Very best. The best. Yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's something. I'm a mayor man. myself. That's Get me something. pictures of Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I Someone... guess I guess we're live, huh? But yeah. yo, but and yo, but yo, yeah. you uh-huh. like 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 all three of us are here. But yeah. I think the host man has neglected to introduce himself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I I am yes I am that man, <clears throat> and I am. Which one am I again? Oh yeah, oh, I am the bald one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the bald one. Uh, I'm Rafi Muscle with the hustle. Man, this intro isn't going good, huh? Um, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's about to get better. It gets, it's get, it, it gets better. It usually gets better. Mm. Um, and That's what I've been telling trades. everyone. Yeah. Uh, it gets better. <laughs> contemplate gets better here. Eventually. Oops, yeah, oops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, contemplate here. Uh, he said that Mahina voice in Migoy, and I'm trying to balance out the... The Discord volume. Well, that's for <laughs> our Twitch so far, folks. Yeah, no, for yeah, Twitch but for that the audio is for the version, live. It should be yeah, nice should and be even. Good. Nice yeah. and even for the pre-recorded version. But for the live, mm-hmm. we're we're on it, people. Yeah, we're on it. Yeah. <laughs> speaking <laughs> speaking of contemplate, Emil, yeah. I think you have something to tell us. Yes, I do. Actually, I oh. you know Rafi, you know Rafi. I know you're the host and all. Uh-huh. I know you're the host and all, and and sure. and you're supposed to take control. 
of this podcast, right? Yeah. But but allow me to grab the wheel for just one tiny second, huh? Take huh? it, Jesus. Huh? Not so, yeah? Not yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are you Jesus? Yes. <laughs> Let me take the wheel. Doing that if you're not Jesus. No. No, yeah. Let me take the wheel for Here one you second. Go. Here you one go. Second. One Here's second. One second. Yeah, wheel, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we've all been playing FF Seven Remake, and oh we want to talk about it so much. We want to talk the shit out of FF Seven Remake, mm-hmm. and out of everyone in the good trades, uh, <laughs> you haven't, uh, you haven't been able to get your hands on the yes. FF Seven Remake yet. Is that I'll correct? Get to it. I'll get to it. Is is that correct? Is that correct? Yes, you don't have a copy. Yeah. Yes. Um, is it also correct that it was your birthday recently? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, 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 yes. a- answer the question. Yes. Yes. It, it, is it also is it also correct that you recently received a message from me on Facebook that you should check now? <laughs> oh, should I? Oh. They roped you into this too. This? Oh what? <laughs> Oh, dude! What the heck? So, Raffi. Oh my God! The the Good Trades Brigade, the Federation, and the good old boys at Contemplate have all pitched in together to get <gasps> you the PlayStation codes a bunch required. Of numbers. Oh, a right. bunch of numbers <laughs> for your birthday, so you can get FF Seven Remake. Happy birthday, buddy. Aww, Happy birthday, boy. Happy birthday, Raffi. Birthday, Raffi. Birthday, Raffi. Birthday, Raffi. Birthday, Raffi. Birthday, Contemplate says, fuck you, Raffi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is why fucking Charlie I, was like, I should, why fucking Charlie I should just Charlie's engaged message. me and, like, just wanted to uh, know, what account do you use? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> oh. like, he messaged me at, like, 1 a.m. yesterday and, and asked, like, do, do you buy stuff for the PS, PS4 online? I can't decide. I can't decide if I should stick to US or Singapore when I buy stuff. Like, what account do you nice. use? <laughs> oh, dude, dude, it's dude. Also, so uh, this is this is Charlie's official message. It's, it's ah. not a fuck you, Ravi message. Oh. Uh, it sounds it said, like happy, one. <laughs> happy birthday, rude. Sana tubuan hey. ganubo. God bless. XOXO XOXO. XO. I guess I sana got it. Po yung, sana mo yung sana mo yung two hundred seventy five billion. Uh, what? What does that mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. know what that means, but dude, you you million? have Am you I have rich? no idea about the story behind this too, because like, um, we were talking about okay, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna buy the cards? Uh, mm-hmm. then then the problem came up of what what PlayStation Store account does Raffi have? And mm-hmm. then I go to Charlie and I'm like, yo, uh, what if I message uh Raffi who's, about who's like the least likely to cause uh-huh. suspicion? Yeah, 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 exactly. And and Charlie says like. I'll do it because if you do it, Emil, you're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you want something done right, get Charlie to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because I am notoriously a bad liar when it comes to like like uh, surprising people for their birthdays, especially. <laughs> <laughs> you just Real blurt bad. out birthday surprise in the middle of your <laughs> con- in the middle of your con. You did fuck it up, Emil. Dude, you messaged Raffi. <laughs> I, I I did message Raffi, but I don't think he noticed because he never replied to me. <laughs> I didn't see That's this. The thing. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. No, no, no. Because yeah. right after, right after Charlie messaged you, asking <laughs> yeah, yeah, suspiciously, yeah. asking you which store <laughs> you play on, I messaged with like, "Hey, hey, Rafi, I think Charlie messaged you though." <laughs> <laughs> Is and then someone dying? That's not real. That's... At all. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Mm, and then Charlie was like, "Yo, Wait Emil, I told you, I told you, stop it. Do not do anything. <laughs> stop it. Let me keep your hands off this shit." Yeah. And so also, I tried to, um, I tried mm. to fet- like, like to fish information to uh, by messaging your wife. Yes, yes, I knew yes. That. Like That's I asked why. Denise, That's like, well, "Can you?" <laughs> We all had a so, bunch of angles. We all had a how, bunch how of angles. How many people asked what PSN account you use, Raph? <laughs> how many times did I reply, I don't know? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, you saying you don't know was part of the problem. <laughs> Oh happy god! Birthday, man. But yeah, but yeah. Just to wrap up this <laughs> yeah, segment, happy yeah. birthday, Rafi! Hey. I hope you enjoy FF Seven Remake. It's great. It's wonderful. And I think you can totally, totally play it in less time than a lot of your other games. I swear. Oh, my God. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> I guess I got something else to play after now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. Thank you, and guys, dude. This is wild. Hap- live gifting. Yes, live gifting. <laughs> Happy birthday. And 
right back to you, Mr. Hostman. Hey, here, here, take you. the wheel. Take the oh, wheel. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, do you mind giving me like the the gear? The also? shifter. The, sh- yeah. the, shift. the keys. The keys. Yeah, the, the, the gear. Keys, the keys are good, but like the the gas you want money. Shaft. Man, it's been a year since I've driven. I forget what the middle stick is called. <laughs> the the middle stick? The shifter? The, the shift? It's called the what, fuck you stick, called? right? Like yeah, on, on your hand. <laughs> the fuck Whatever you it stick. Was. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, yeah, this is why Denise was asking me like before, like two what? hours before, like he, she was asking, hmm, may, may difference ba yung mga regions? <laughs> so, so, so oh, that's good. She went. She oh, went God. steam. <laughs> so and then good. when I answered the steam, ah, wala, wala. That's parang so. So PlayStation din ba ganun? Oh, <laughs> smooth, ah, smooth, ah, smooth, 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 smooth. Nice, good, 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 good. good. <laughs> Internal operative. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. God, I'm being surrounded. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> now no you have no choice Yo. but to play. Thank yeah. you so much for these numbers, dude. This, dude. this is. This is the most valuable <laughs> set of numbers I've ever been gifted. Thank you. It's really great. It's Thank really you. great. Why are there three? Are it's there one so- for each region that I don't know? No, 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 no. <laughs> different um, values um, per. Different yeah. values. Um, all of those cumulatively should add up to a Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh, but what about <sighs> the tax? Uh, yeah, don't worry. We've, we've thought about it. Oh, we thought nice, about good, it. Good, we thought about it this out. time. Uh, uh, for everyone that doesn't know, <laughs> we also time. did this to Migoy. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, we well, forgot thanks, the tax. They pre- yeah. they prepared. They're Dude, yeah, they were yelling at me for thirty minutes, and I was just like eating <laughs> dinner. I'm like, what is yeah. is everything on fire? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was calling him. Yeah. Oh man, our friends are cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, friends so are Raffy, cool so nice. Raffy. Yes. Now that we're at the fifty ninth episode of the Good Trades, yeah, the show where up? we punch each other with stories and everyone takes damage. Yeah, um, that's true. No, yes. that's true. <laughs> Ouch! Forgot about uh, that damage. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I barely functioned before this reveal, and now I am a wreck. Please, oh no, no. <laughs> this broke we, me. I, Did this, we break this, the host? This, this base. This, that's basically Raffy. These set of numbers. These broke me. <laughs> no, but, uh, for, uh, yeah. What? Uh, how boy? How boys? So have how? you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> how that's boys not, so have you been doing? No, there's bad. a sentence how, in there so somewhere. Bo- yeah. Mm. So boys, how have you been doing in this I guess, fourth week of quarantine? Yeah, I guess it is around a month now, huh? Ooh. Time extension, just like in Time Crisis. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh god. Time we extended. Got, yeah. Mm-hmm. We shot that little birdie. <laughs> no, no, no. The <laughs> I'm just imagining a cartoon coronavirus smashing a box with a clock on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then like, yeah. fuck it. It's like, I play, mean, like coronavirus is playing Plague Inc. But the more it infects, it gets like time extension. <laughs> oh no. It's Terrible. the Pandora system of life. Sacrifice your friend for more time on the clock. Mm. <laughs> oh God. Like, um, yeah. I've... I've I finally experienced actually like getting those relief uh, goods. Oh, mm-hmm. for real? Nice. Like oh, there, are, there, there, there's a truck of uh, people actually um, giving on some some goodie bags that contains oh, rice cool. and and cans. And yeah, it's 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 cool, I guess. It's nice. Like, uh, it... I actually don't want to get it because I feel like others are. Others like, needed more, yeah. Yeah, others needed more, but man, yeah, like, yeah, um, and they're gonna um, portion I, it out, so it should be fine. Yeah, um, I live in a pretty upscale neighborhood, so I don't <clears> think <throat> those relief goods like will be prioritized here. I, I, yeah. I haven't experienced it here. Yeah, mm-hmm. ours, ours, uh, we don't. Uh, we were told that we don't qualify because we live in a condo, so like, um, I'm not mad about <laughs> it. No, 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 like, no, yeah, they, they yeah, literally yeah, have same. that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's true. I can see how they can infer that. Yeah, 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 uh, Rafi. We are literally living in ivory towers. Literally. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> another, <laughs> another artifact in the litany so like, of the Virgin Mary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The tower of ivory. Thing. The queen mother escaped. deck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that's a thing. Um, so I'm I'm not super mad about it. And like we've we've got we've like refined the system now where every day. I go to Seven Eleven and then I top up the supplies and we cool. order food from outside. It's it's we're living, I guess. It's not as bad. Yep. So we're other people will need that better. Yeah, not dead yet. 
Not yet until the the the, the mid boss of of 2020 comes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that mm-hmm. is. Um, how about you, Miguel? Eh? How how is the quarantine life? Oh, um, the facial hair has grown to a point where I can feel it no matter what I do. Mm-hmm. Oh, like eating. Oh. I move I move around like I scratch my nose and like what's that mm-hmm. tingling sensation? It's just <laughs> me. It's me. it's me. I'm the sensation. <laughs> I can taste the beard. <laughs> the YouTube. The it, yeah, dude. It, it's come to a point where food bits get stuck in it, and like, huh? Oh. So that's what it feels like. The yeah. constant flavor, <laughs> even though I've eaten like four hours ago. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Be- can then that be the show title? Beards are just constant flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's beer from the lollipops of the human body. <laughs> Constant <Whoa>. beard flavor. <laughs> Gross. Something like that. God. Um, is this full yeah. on weeks? Are we talking yeah. about weeks? Who want to go first? Or are we doing just quick intros? Nah, first yeah. quarantine weeks, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You just go through the round. So uh, pretty much um, at least the pay is still coming in somehow, even That's though good. the bank apps have been crashing. Yeah. No oh, shit. Like you're getting messages from people. It's like, <laughs> oh, the, the, the bank app's not working. What's going on? Then you get an email about it from the actual company saying that maybe don't look at it during peak hours, guys. You know, because <laughs> everyone true. else is doing exactly what you're trying to do. Right. Yeah. Just the abundance of people doing that. But um, yeah. yeah, we're still in it. We're still alive, eating food, tasting it through the beard, mm-hmm. tanking <laughs> it. Mm-hmm. Thank God for Final Fantasy VII because that blew through my entire week. Dude, it's yeah. so fucking good. <laughs> Just, uh, I, have a I did nothing that... else except that game. <laughs> My my wall, thanks to everyone, is like full on <laughs> FF7 all the time. It's like 24 hour you FF7 avoid channel. <laughs> yeah, I can't you, avoid you can't. it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but now, yeah. but now, oh, you I can, can join also the cacophony. Be part of <laughs> you this. Can, you yeah. can join the party. Yeah. yeah, join the choir. Join the cacophony of yeah, FF7 just remake marks. Should I just leave right now? And no, 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 no! <laughs> You're the host, dude. Maybe You're you should host. at least try to claim it, cause yeah. oh. that's like what 100 gigs or something. Yeah, game is mm, huge, yeah, you man. Yeah, um, like, like leave I'll it downloading it. tonight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll probably do that. We'll, sure. we'll try to help you set it up because uh, mm-hmm. I think there are some other deets that you need to know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, who wants to go first on the weeks? Oh God! I mm. I, I guess we should start been? with with the uh, Final Fantasy Seven, you know. Yeah, I mean we can yeah. talk about it, but let's try to avoid like full on spoiler cast. We can cast talk about for, yeah, like, for the, sure. the gameplay bits the gameplay. And, and all the the, the other yeah. good stuff. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. How the the late game feels maybe or something like that. Mm-hmm. So okay, uh, how, how yeah. did we go about it last time? We I went think we went hard. about it pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Like like yeah. we went pretty hard on it. Like an hour and a half of. Yeah, that was that was a lot, and it was like yeah. until chapter Eric's house. chapter nine. Six? Is it nine? Oh, was it, was that nine? Probably that sounds eight. right. Eight Probably or nine. Eight. Yeah, yeah, eight or nine. Mm-hmm. But now we've already finished it. All three of us finished the game. Uh, yeah, yes, man. all and three all of us in this four-man what, podcast. What was your <laughs> final <laughs> game time upon like initial completion? Around forty yeah. hours for me. Same for me, like forty plus. So take. that really is like, and I'm guessing you guys did as much as you could right before beating that too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. like I, quest, I side quest wise, did every side, side quest I could. Yeah. Nice. So that looks to be around the average, talaga, for people mm-hmm. who who try to do as much as they can. Because <laughs> um, I remember most 40. reviewers saying oh, that for them, like not doing all the side quests, just gunning through the story, that still takes around thirty something hours. Mm. That just is true. story yeah. alone so with all the extra content then you add like maybe almost 20 more because <laughs> like, that through those b- has a lot hours, of padding I even missed a lot of stuff like a lot of moments or uh, cutscenes because this game has a lot of um, uh, branches or uh, yeah. extra scenes depending on what mm-hmm. you do in the it's, game yeah. it's, it's as if the gold the old golden saucer date has been spread all throughout the game Right. I swear. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amidst the same characters too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's all crazy. three. <laughs> yes, so, all three. So every three. every uh playthrough uh isn't uh, it's not going to be the same. It's not going like, to be exactly the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like uh I've experienced this firsthand when I was actually watching Contemplate stream. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlie was streaming, and he was at this point in the game where a cutscene happened mm-hmm. that he didn't know. And that was different was, from yours. Yeah, right? yeah, it was different from mine. Charlie was confused because he said, I thought <laughs> you finished this game. Because you were freaking out in chat. I was, I was really <laughs> freaking out in chat because, what is this? What's happening here? This is not what happened in my game. Oh, and yeah. uh, we kind of discovered that, oh, it has something to do with with who a you choice that better? you made or yeah. who you treat better or what, what, mm-hmm. what, what you did before. Oh. Apparently, it's so, to who you interact with first the most. Yeah. And I also heard that it also depends on your several choices with the girls as well. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So it has a lot um, of those factors in. The also, games. also, just to add to that, it, it's not a spoiler. It's all mechanical and shit. Mm-hmm. If you fuck up your relationship with both the girls, oh Barrett yeah, shows up. You yeah. get the third one. Yeah. I want the best. Really? That's what Barrett. Want to see, actually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> want to see I was that. actually like. Guessing that what if Barrett has a scene with 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 Cloud in that scene? No, oh, he does. That would be possible, right? If, mm-hmm. if that has that choice, uh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, like oh, given the that. context of that scene, having Barrett there is actually like at least to me makes more sense than talking to the character who's not present at the time. No, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. true. But what you call it, dude? Just like details like that, like like having a lot of your choices impact a scene in the game later on depending on how good your relationships are with them awesome. just says to me that like the people who made this game know what's up because it's it's everything every ff7 fan ever wanted in a remake you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and then so i was mm-hmm. genuinely happy after finishing the game Dude, yeah, the entire it, game to me, I was just smiling like an idiot. As in, yeah. as in, like, like, like ear to ear, fucking, like, smiling like a maniac, laughing at everything, like, like oh, tearing dude. up at everything. That <laughs> there are moments also because I, I streamed the final fifteen <laughs> hours, I think. Sure. Oh, jeez, five God hours. Damn, those were some long stretches of games, and there are moments where I just lose it. Like uh-huh. full on, like the the moment is incredibly tense, and you know you're supposed to take it seriously. And I'm just like laughing my ass off because of like Why? the balls of this game yeah <laughs> dude that this game has to do giant balls yeah. big balls <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> let me just put that on the title also this <laughs> game has this giant game. balls giant balls <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i'm, I'm sure excited. some people out there will not be happy with some of oh, the right. liberties yeah, taken yeah. but controversy but like hilariously, the game itself kind of addresses that. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, they they mm-hmm. actively shout it in your face. Yeah, it's which like, is kind y- of funny. Yeah, <laughs> dude, the game itself is like if yeah. you don't if you don't think creative freedom and changes are a good thing, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, you'll dude, be having a hard time. Up. Like, okay. um, I've 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 seen tweets actually from from act from from some content creators that. They're not really happy about the changes in the in the, in the battle system. Battle? Oh yeah, they yeah. Find it hard. I've seen that too. They find it hard and oh, um, God. they find it confusing. And I was Man. when I was reading it, I was like saying these fucking babies. But uh, <laughs> I, 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 I try <laughs> to what understand why they're <laughs> saying that. And then it's it's mostly because um, uh, I think the higher reason is that they want something to be. I mean, they wanted something to be like a the classic ATB turn-based combat. But but that's why it's there's there. a classic mode. It's yeah, still there. It's still there in a in, in a way, and also they're kind of confused on some on some interactions during battle, like mm-hmm. um, why they need to attack to build up ATB, why mm-hmm. why uh, some of the effects are. Um, acting as instances or interrupts because no, th- dude, that, that's what dude. happens when you get interrupted with a status effect. Dude, yeah, if you he- get shot, you flinch. Yeah, dude. And- here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, like anyone. Like, usually, I'm very like, like, uh, oh, I understand that person. What that person is saying. Blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. But, but for this, I'm taking a hard line stance of those people. Are yeah, gigantic idiots because oh my God. <laughs> because oh my number God. one, we got heal a meal now. No, yeah, heal because number meal. one, number one, this game is hand holdy as fuck. Yes, before, it, yeah, be, I heard before it. any mechanic happens, a big ass text screen of tutorial shit pops mm-hmm, up. Yeah. 
And exactly. there's a, even a little video explaining this one mechanic to you, right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. And it happened in the mm. first mission. It yeah, happened exactly at the first hour. So like you don't have. They teach you how excuse. to fight. But every time but, you encounter a new mechanic for the first time, it will show you, like it'll tell you how to do it, and then show you the screen the moment you can apply it. Mm-hmm, mm. mm-hmm. Exactly. And for me though, the best thing about this battle system though mm. is that it's lenient enough for you to feel like a badass, right? Right, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's exactly. lenient enough for you to feel like a badass and ignore some mechanics. However, at a certain point in the game, if you continue those bad habits, if you continue to ignore mechanics, if you mm-hmm. continue to run and gun it, this yeah. game will punish you it's, super yeah, it'll duper punish you. hard right. and it'll feel like it's your fault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As in, um, as in during... if you're not if if you are dying over and over again, if you just keep running and gutting and saying, "I don't get it. How come whenever I try to attack, I get fucked?" and I'm, yeah. and and if you think like that, you are an absolute moron who do, <laughs> right. reading is does hard. not I can't understand <laughs> games. As in this this game is the most video ass game video game, <laughs> game I have played yeah. in a while. Everything is gamified game. so yeah. fucking well. As in, each battle mechanic I'm enjoying immensely. I swear. Whoever mm. thinks that Yeah. Like about that one. Wait, I when I was, wait to be that when guy. I was reading the <laughs> the Twitter oh, no. thread about it. Like about these content creators kind of um, bitching about the battle system. I was. I like I how was, you keep saying content creators to like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, I, I can't name names, but it, these are international content creators, dudes. Ah. Not not content from our creators. circle, but it's YouTubers and uh, streamers who are having a hard time. And right. I was I was the reading norms. through the thread. I was reading through the thread, and then I was I was uh, picking up how and why they failed. And it's usually right. they forgot to switch, and they forgot to block. Mm. Oh yeah, these blocking is basic, super important. These Dude, basic uh, fundamentals, <laughs> they keep forgetting. They will get fucked in the ass whenever a <laughs> yeah. boss or a or a or a horde of mob uh, enemies yeah. show up. Because switching and blocking is important just to yeah. kind of mitigate damage. So right, I don't know. Like, and and I really love how this battle system is balanced because if you are doing it wrong if you're mm-hmm. ignoring mechanics not blocking not dodging not mm-hmm. timing your atb actions mm-hmm. um the battle is going to drag on you're gonna get fucked you're gonna burn through your phoenix downs however Ooh. if you take it slow that battle is gonna end in 30 seconds yeah, yeah. Like, really yeah, like i swear <clears throat> if you do everything right the first time and take your time play mm-hmm. slowly the battle will end way faster than if you were trying to run and gun it it's it's kind of the thing where it can go one way or the other like in immediate you know a, a great distance either you get absolutely destroyed or you destroy them mm-hmm. right because like, um the game like can be I've really been... tough but once you yeah, exploit yeah. their proper weaknesses they melt dude like, like i've been in battles where in like i will be fighting this bunch of mobs for like a solid five to ten minutes <laughs> die and then reassess like oh wait what no, am I no, doing I was wrong? fucking, I, I was fucking this up, and then yeah. re- retry the battle and finish it in thirty seconds, and I'm like, what Whoa. the fuck? Yeah. This what one the fuck? thing, yeah. This oh, one like thing I was ignoring <laughs> was the thing. This <laughs> one trick. <laughs> Shinra hates this. Uno. This <laughs> Shinra hates it. This you one trick. Uno. <laughs> oh, dude. This one trick. Firaga. Riot Shields hate it. No, no. It's yeah. not Firaga. <laughs> it's Assess. Mm. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, that is the absolute that number the one yeah. thing. Use assess. Assess, Holy assess shit. is so good. Scan and your enemy. Like the Look at their weakness. Oh, yeah. 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 Scan the enemy. Know their weakness. And like the one of the bigger things though is like how you have to pick up on the um, the body language of your of your opponent. Oh if, yeah, like, like an action if game. It's sad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah when yeah, when yeah, it's about yeah. to like prep for an attack, you can tell. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like um, I I can't praise the game enough for. Um, seamlessly balancing uh, strategy, turn-based, and um, um, actual character action. Because mm-hmm. the way I've been playing it, 
like I've been playing it like a character action game at times. Yeah. I would dump all of the active style material onto me, then I would mm-hmm. play it like a character action game. I would yeah. parry everything, I would dodge everything. Yeah. I will just frame everything. It's amazing. It's oh, it it's like, there are certain oh, boss works. fights that greatly reward you if you play it that way. Mhm. Oh. Mhm. Cool. Sundial nine one one says assess plus first strike is a must <laughs> on some of these oh, yeah. encounters. I can live without first strike, so, to be honest. First yeah. strike, but I think, I can is, live without. is situational. Or it's a it's, great convenience. It's a yeah. great the wind convenience. scarf, though. That's the yeah, one. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't mm-hmm. take up a material slot. That's what it is. But yeah, assess assess is, is really important, especially assess. If you're yeah, like once you get that raf, yeah, s- like scan every opponent you see, yeah, because mm-hmm. there's also a hidden reward for that. Uh, Plus, um, yeah. once you level it up once, instead of scanning an individual opponent, it'll scan it'll everything scan. in the area. Mm-hmm. And you can oh. cycle through all of them and like, oh, this guy's weak to this. This guy does this. This one has a tip on how to beat it. And then boom. Yeah. Sundial um, 911 says that uh, because of that combination, you, you, you could do instant, ac- uh, instant assess because right. you have the first What's instant mm-hmm. assess? Mm-hmm. Oh, because like, like, uh, um, the first strike material gives you immediate ATB gauge. And yeah. assess costs uh, costs one bar to do that. Mm. So you need if you don't have first strike, you need to hit your opponents a little bit to build up your meter, then mm-hmm, burn mm-hmm. it to to use assess. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. I think uh, the first strike assess is a great convenience, and if you're going oh, yeah. through it first time through, it's great to have. Definitely. But um, I don't think it's a must. Like like I don't think like you have to do it that way. I think this game has been designed in a way that you can actually tackle it very slow if you want. Like, if you yep. want, you can tackle it. Uh, if you like magic, tackle it that way. If you like um, all of the action-based, command-based material like I do, you could yep. do it that way. If you Sick. like uh, buffing up your stats, HP up, MP up, luck up, that kind mm-hmm. of shit. Yeah. If you yeah. want passive bonuses, you can yeah. play it that way. Like, it's all up to you, which I love so fucking much. Can you play Actually, it as a um, me and Migs have this issue where since you can, like the, the nature of the material system, even back then was mm-hmm. you can literally make a, a character any type of build you want, right? You can make mm-hmm. them a tank, you can make them your mage, you can make them your, your raw damage, like physical damage character, etc. You can also yeah. still do that here. Mm-hmm. Like, um, mm-hmm. you can make specific builds, you can also match equipment to complement those builds, mm-hmm. just like mm-hmm. you would, like, say, a, a, a harder style fantasy RPG. Yeah. And what we're running into, even before we beat the game, like maybe a little bit past halfway when mm-hmm. the games aren't ramping it up in terms of difficulty, is that mm-hmm. we wish there was a way to save loadouts. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. otherwise yeah. you're Especially constantly right. switching mode. materia and it's kind of a pain uh-huh. in the ass. Yeah, and actually, because... the worst part about switching around materia is that I can't tell the difference between this green materia and this green materia. <laughs> so I have to individually yeah. mouse over each one. So uh, I guess yeah, we could it, go so to, our, to, to things that we don't like in the game. Because um, other than that, there's also one thing that I could uh, add to some of the inconveniences I found oh, uh, go for in it. the game. Yeah. yeah, aside from, you know, uh, loadouts, one thing that I wish they actually implement in, in Final Fantasy VII Remake is um, item comparison. Mm-hmm. Some sort of right. like an item comparison system that's item comparison. What similar do you mean? to um, Final Comparing Fantasy Comparing what you have on currently to what you're trying to buy. Oh, okay. yeah. Because yeah. it, it doesn't have that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they have something in a form of like a like a window in the lower right whenever yeah, you yeah, buy yeah. in the There's a stack of like window. I was about but to say. Yeah. No, uh, what makes is trying to say is a more expansive version of that, like seeing what material you currently have equipped. Seeing yeah, or what, even the how many slots, slots. That, the thing, yeah, yeah. The, the slots that you currently have on your like your bangle or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. it doesn't have that. The comparison screen in the lower right has uh, it's it basic. tells you the difference between all of the all of the basic stats the equipment mm. has, but I mm-hmm. don't think it tells you the material slot difference. Yeah, no, nope. even no, it doesn't like, compare to what you have equipped on in terms of material, just to the stats of what you currently have equipped. Mm-hmm, right, exactly, right. exactly. So, so can like that could be fixed by like saying giving that function to like the square button to bring up a separate window. Like even, there's something lacking like, about those. Not not just in the in terms of like you buying new equipment, mm-hmm. but in terms of also comparing like what you have to other characters maybe. Yeah, that would but be there's, useful. It's just it's a very slight inconvenience that we kind of we can live without, but you know, it adds an extra step or two when you know, shifting your your material around, etc. Yeah, yeah, et yeah. But um, 
uh, even if there are no loadouts or comparison system, the one system I do like that they put in was that when you're changing your equipment, it asks you if you want to slot your previously oh, slotted yeah. material into that's, this new yeah, weapon. Like, actually okay. really so that's it adds to the convenience. Okay. And yeah. what I like about that part is even if your slots for like the next weapon don't have enough, uh, aren't as many as your previous one. It'll try its best. It'll slot like um, what it's aligned to. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So if exactly, the furthest exactly. one on the right doesn't have a slot, it'll slot in everything else before that. Mm-hmm. So right. you know what you're losing. It doesn't like auto reshuffle them. It will align whatever material slots match up to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't re-equip you like Yuffie does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The best feature. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice. Yeah, dude. Hey, Riku, put our... Go put our materia back on our equipment. There, I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking as a joke. Yeah, as dude. Joke. Fucking Yuffie. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait, dude. To this game. There, there's dude. so much to the combat. Like the combat alone is even post game. Like even even before beating the game, I was like, because you get to that point where regular encounters are a bit too easy since you know how to beat every single opponent now. Exactly. At that point. Mm-hmm. And then it comes to a boss and it's hard as fuck. Yeah, you don't know I, anything about it. I would say but, around mm. the probably chapter. I forgot the number, but the chapter. I'd say uh, post Walmart. Yes, then around kind of yeah. ramps up there. A lot, uh, I like how we're calling it Walmart. Um, <laughs> I'm pushing it <laughs> around Walmart. Walmart uh, there's a big difficulty spike, and I think that's the moment where most people who are running and gunning it will realize that yo, wh- no wait, no I need good. to slow down. I need yeah. to slow down. This is no good. Okay. This structure is fucking me up. <laughs> With furniture. Mm-hmm. 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 Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. I love it so fucking much. I can't wait to have a full a giant cast wall. on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to do it. No, but but mm-hmm. outside of that, um, mm-hmm. yeah. in terms of like comparing it to an action game, because this is still very like strategy intensive for the most part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, if you do treat it as an action game, there are like, what I'd say, cancellation windows for certain actions yeah. that you can find in like your Devil May Cries and all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, it's uh, for the most part, there's usually some form of like benefit. Either like you recover your your animation frames faster, you get a certain perk, you mm-hmm. you don't waste that window, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, to to do another action. Like mm-hmm. say with Cloud, he has Cloud has two primary stances, right? The mm-hmm. operator mode and the punisher mode. So mm-hmm. operate is you can freely run around. You have a regular yeah. block. You have AOEs. normal actions. Then you can usually do like a, a two-hit AoE spin. Punisher mm-hmm. mode is your like heavy damage like attack stance, right? Yeah, you yeah. Move you move really slow. You lose mm-hmm. your block but instead get a melee counter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then your attacks like do a wider array of hits. Mo- more mm-hmm. like multiple hits too. And they do a ton of like damage. Um, one so, of the uh, one of my favorite things I discovered about Operator and Operator and Punisher mode is that when you switch between modes, right? Um, there's a there's a quick like like bunch of white wind around Cloud when you switch modes, right. and that so actually it, functions as a charge blade style guard point, where uh-huh. if you're hit within that window, you counter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, you, when you first do that stance switch, you think like, oh, that's just like a cool animation for me as the yeah, player exactly. to know I'm switching stances, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, there are moments where you get a, a faster window of switching stances mid combo that you just, oh, yeah, like, absolutely. some people don't even know it's there. But if you do find those windows where you get a, a clean transition between the two, those, that, that, that white effect becomes like active guard frames. Nah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It will, Initially go into a counter, regardless of which stance you're switching to. Like, the act of mm. switching will put you in a, a, a parry moment. And, like, when you land those, even unintentionally sometimes, you get that, it like, looks so fuck sick. yeah! It feels <laughs> you so You get those good. moments. Yeah. And, like, mm-hmm. um, ac- the act of getting that counter will also fill stagger gauge a lot yeah. quicker than your normal attacks. Mm-hmm. So getting that combo where you parry a hit, and then stagger up your opponent, causing them to to be immobile for a few moments. Then you can rank up damage that way. Yeah. There's that, your action game moment. moment. 
Yeah. Man, yeah, the, we've that's been talking, the let's go moment, yeah. Dude, absolutely. We've been talking a lot about the battle system and cloud, but like mm-hmm. I one of the that's things that's cloud like, alone. Yeah, that's just yeah. cloud. <laughs> and and that that's actually wow. what I wanted to talk about because mm-hmm. like um one of the things that surprised me is how much I actually enjoyed playing as all the characters equally. Oh yeah. yeah. As in yep, yep. I thought I was mostly going to enjoy playing Cloud, Tifa, mm-hmm. and then for Aerith and Barrett, I'd be like, yo, that's cool, but not my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. But um, as the game goes on, like, I started enjoying the fuck out of playing as Barrett. I started enjoying the fuck playing as Aerith as well. I was like, Dude, yo, this is they're sick. all broken in different ways, and mm-hmm. it's amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised how much work they put in Aerith's, uh, Aerith's uh, abilities and, Dude, and weapon Aerith's... abilities. Eret's ATB skills are kind of busted, actually. They're yeah, super dude, duper yeah, busted. Death ray that dude, that fucking no, no, death ray it, is not that. crazy. Um, there's because you know how you get different weapons and they each grant you like a different skill that you learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's we, one we weapon that, that is week. yeah. There's one weapon that is hidden in a boss. Nope. Oh. So oh, you yes. have to actually steal it from them to earn that weapon. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, mm-hmm. there's no other way to get it. And the skill you get from that is kind of broken. Really? Huh. Yeah. So, um, what? The, it's a weapon for Aerith, uh-huh. and um, I I understand you missing that because Aerith is I think the least time you get in terms of like who you get to switch as in the roster because of story yeah. reasons. Mm-hmm. So, um, once you do steal that weapon, the ability it grants you is you make a like a shield that looks like a flower. Then it's like, right. oh, it'll just make a physical barrier that will block a lot of projectiles. And like, oh, that sounds fairly reasonable. I'm sure it can block some hits, but not all. Mm. And then you, I started using it, and that thing blocks nearly everything. And <laughs> it everything. lasts a goddamn long time. And you can pop multiples of it. Oh, Jesus. So you, stacks. Well, sometimes when I see Aerith, she's standing in like a fortress of effects. Oh, <laughs> she's God. surrounded by flowers. There's a clock under her. There's also a big flower on the floor. Fuck. And she's just casting fire left and right. And like, what is this and, woman? And what like, there's a local death florist out of causes stick. mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, death beam from her stick. And like, what the dude. fuck is this? Is this how you broke the game and you skipped to this? Dude, cinematic? she's an impenetrable. This little girl is an impenetrable fortress. Mm-hmm. Like, you see mm-hmm. boss attacks do nothing. Thing. They can't get past that flower, man. <laughs> it's kind of redonk. Aerith is redonkulous. As in, it's <laughs> just as ridiculous as her great gospel limit break from the old game. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And le- um, in back to the the this is a character action game moment. Um, yeah. have you all discovered that you can cancel Barrett's? You know how when Barrett shoots his primary fire, right? Yeah. yeah. He holds square. His gun will overheat uh-huh. after he a fixed time. You can cancel it by charging your heavy attack, and it oh, recovers shit. faster. I than, didn't like, know. Than Once watching. it loads, know. you can double reload or double recharge. So it, no, like mm, the, like the, the recharge animation of, uh, is the same every time, yeah. but it's faster than having to wait for the overheat on his gun. Mm-hmm. Dude, Plus, oh, you get dude. the benefit of actually recharging your <laughs> triangle attack. Yeah. And you know, you know why the, the benefit of that is you uh-huh. once you shoot that the big triple shot that is the best thing ever. Uh-huh. It's like one of the most satisfying attacks. It fills your ATB gauge by so like fast. Seventy five percent sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's insane. What do you call it? You know why I never discovered that, I think? Because I fell in love with Melee Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melee dude, yeah. Barrett. You can, no, Emil, yeah. Emil. I, I you can do that too. There oh, are dude. big windows where you can just do that. You kick him, you stomp him, you recharge. No, you dude, smack him dude. with the big third heavy attack, which is dumb and slow. Then mm-hmm. you recharge, or just there, go into the football tackle right after. No, no, it's no, all dude. there. <laughs> what do you call it? A uh, Barrett actually has an infinite combo when it what? comes to his melee. What do you yeah. call it? Um, um, <laughs> There's so many when, cancellation windows. When you start as Barrett in combat, his mm-hmm. triangle move is always ready. It's maxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and maxed. and basically, if you're up against like enemies that flinch. At oh, all. dude! <laughs> like yeah, you, do a, yeah. you do the, the football, football charge, you do the football tackle will destroy then, them. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you do the football charge, it destroys them, it grounds them. Then you do the uppercut, knock them into the air, and then while they're in the air, if you press triangle immediately, mm-hmm. a- as charge. they land back to the ground, Barrett will catch him in that tackle again, and yeah, you can dude. keep looping that. Skin it's crazy. Fighters. Sounds like you can crazy do ball. you can do Tekken juggles in this game yeah. on oh, certain yeah. enemies. It's insane. Fuck yeah. It's it's super fun. Like you could also even like 
combine it uh, with with Tifa's uh, Tifa's chi traps and oh, uh, chi traps the clouds uh, dude, other setups to make I, it so that the enemy isn't going to land forever. <laughs> exactly, dude. I, I cannot believe they gave Tifa just straight up Kikosho. It's yeah, fucking, dude, it's, it's fucking broken. insane. Tifa is the Rekka character of this game, and it's really it's super duper fun. It's so fun. It's so fucking uh, fun, dude. The melee melee Barrett being a thing that it, it gets introduced like near the end of the game is amazing. Mm-hmm. Cuz while it has its faults like you you have no range attacks any real yeah. range attacks and he's slow as molasses he's slow yeah. as molasses but he does good damage but like not as much as you'd hope yeah. given how yeah. slow the attacks are mm-hmm. but the, the abilities that those two melee weapons have like one yeah. of them is just a big ground punch Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. incredibly stupid strong. It, it's called <laughs> Smackdown. Smackdown. Yeah. Yeah. Just dunk Here on comes them the and pain. it does like three yeah. times more than a normal hit. Mm-hmm. In, in such a wide array that it'll kill most anything. If it doesn't kill them, it will stun them. Like yeah. it'll yeah. cause even bosses to flinch at times. Yeah, dude. It's, it's so just, fucking great. <laughs> and it just looks like the the imp- the feel of the impact. Because you know how some games don't have this good feedback when it comes to heavy hits? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a this fun game, move. Though. It this shakes game, your though. screen in a good way. Dude, me, like, me usually I don't just like Juggernaut. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> literally. Literally Juggernaut. <laughs> the unstoppable force <laughs> with a gun. Mm-hmm. Game Marco. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Dude, like, oh, um, they're, like, playing each character is just such a joy that you want more combat at all times. Yeah, I like, how actually, the other even. Are gonna Even like, play, what like I, I can't wait I want, to see how the other characters. I wonder play. how the other characters are gonna play. Like, like I Vincent cannot wait. And, like, Dude, I cannot wait. You feel with the giant sacra, like the giant star, the, the ninja Con- star, sure the ninja sure star. Yeah, can't wait for Kate's and though. dog. I can't wait how dog oh, feels dude. like. Oh, you, you mean dude. catchy? Red would be great. Red would be great. Oh, no. Yeah. Catchy? That's so you guys Taylor mean dog. catchy? Yes, what's, catchy. Uh, what's a Kate Sith? Yeah, oh, catchy what? is actually the <gasps> the the correct pronunciation. Really? But I don't know how they it. pronounce it in FF7. I actually I don't, don't think know. they've catchy? verbally said it though. They've never they said it out loud. They've yeah, never they said, haven't it said it in Advent Children. Catchy? Mm-hmm. How are we supposed yes. to get catchy. that square? <laughs> also, he's he's Scottish. Did you? Yes. Know that? Um, yeah. I mean, in Advent Children, he's Scottish. Yes. Yeah, but he has like two lines, and you could barely yeah. understand the boy. <laughs> yeah. Kids what a mysterious game. Okay, uh, anyway. So yeah, uh, um, yes. There's, yeah, a, there's only four characters, but goddamn, they're all different. It's like learning a new fighting game character, dude. Yeah, really? but you can oh, give them deep, all the huh? same spells, so yeah, at yeah, least yeah. it's easier in that part. What do you call it? Really um, there's actually a reason he's Scottish. <laughs> what do you call? Okay, it? Lay it no, because uh, no, because um. Because the Katshi is, uh, it's actually a Scottish Gaelic uh, fairy tale creature. Oh, oh what? Mm. Yeah. Um, is it the white what, monster yeah. that he rides on? No. no, no. Um, <laughs> basically, a Katshi is um, a magic cat that haunts the Scottish Highlands. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's, it, it's just a spooky cat. That's it's it. A spooky cat that's a corporate spy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even in Scottish mythologies. Oh, I'm pulling it up right here. Yes, it is a spooky cat. I'm seeing yeah. a lot of... And the Scottish spy. I'm seeing a lot of great art right now. Oh, okay. That's okay. Awesome. Okay. That's okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the catch she like, is. Given all the melee characters in the roster, like it, it's not super hard to imagine, but it's hard to imagine how different they have to make them all. Because that's the appeal of these, the starting four, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're all Mm -hmm. incredibly different. In like, even if Cloud and Tifa are melee characters, you approach their offense in different ways. That is right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like incredibly, like especially come the higher difficulty where you have to do that. Otherwise, Mm -hmm. you just die. Dude, like, um, <laughs> Cloud is your royal guard guy. Um, um, Tifa is your lots of big combos lady. Barrett is your, like, all around bruiser. Aerith is your, like, bomb ass spellcaster. It's super mm-hmm. great. And Barrett is gun. Barrett is gun. is gun. Barrett is gun, but thick gun. Thick, thick gun. gun. Muscle thick gun. gun. Chonky okay. muscle gun. 
Yeah. I'm so excited. How big he has is a that special UV? move where he just shoots for like ten seconds straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and not I do it every Fury. time just because it's awesome. Dude, yeah. maximum fury is amazing. Maximum fury, and it auto tracks when something it's dies. Great. He immediately switches to another target. So like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna leave you to it, Barrett. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> everything, man. <laughs> I kind it's of can't best. wait to see how like Sid plays, how fucking yeah. Oh Sid's gonna be a dragoon. So he's gonna yeah, jump yeah. a lot. Sid's gonna be a dragoon. He's gonna <laughs> jump, he's gonna smoke, he's gonna <laughs> do yeah. a domestic he's gonna violence. Be a mis- oh, oh please no. no. Right. Please no. <laughs> I, I wonder how so. they're gonna tackle yeah. that. Because I hope that they... guy is a straight up wife beater. God damn it. <laughs> I hope they double down like the other way and turn him into like Make a, him a harder ally. wife beater. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. A harder wife beater. <laughs> Please then, don't. Oh, God. Um, and I guess y- Yuffie could be a, another ranged character. Huh? Or she could yeah. have I like AOE range attacks. Thing. Like the Shuriken yeah. will envelop multiple Dude, enemies or something. I want Yuffie's triangle <laughs> to be a jutsu button. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Where you do ten shit. Signs, basically, with her stupid with cast, cool. dude. It'd be cast great. arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll work for a game. Says Max Fury is the only Barrett ability. Yeah, oh, because God. Smackdown is really good, dude. What's Smackdown. What's the point blank? Is I think one of my favorite ones, dude. Oh, dude, he shoves a bomb in your face, dude. Yeah. Point <laughs> blank is so underestimated because you do have to get in the face of the enemy, but Barrett Not as close punches as you them. Think. Yeah? yeah, not as close yeah, as you think. It's really, it's pretty generous. You Dude, don't have to be exactly range, beside maybe. them. Barrett will punch the shit out of the enemy with his gun arm, then leave a sticky bomb on their face. Fuck <laughs> it's yeah. great. Fuck yeah! And it blows up by itself after like mm-hmm, a few seconds. Mm-hmm. And it's devastating. And 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 the best part about it is if you have a bunch of enemies like bunched up, and Barrett does the punch, they all get sticky bombs on them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sick. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Mm. Yeah, plus AOE damage Smackdown. to each other too after that yeah, yeah they do they do uh, it's, it's absolute so good. madness S- speaking about Smackdown tell me about the dude the dude that looks so much like me oh Rude, oh, no, Rude. Rude. Emil Rude. tell us yeah. what you found out yes okay. when Rude so, attacks so, women yeah. so oh, um, Jesus. <laughs> I was <laughs> doing a science I was doing a science okay. so during the boss fight with Rude um, mm. um, for any Final Fantasy veterans out there people will know that Rude has a crush on Tifa. And oh. it, while you're fighting Rude, he will never attack Tifa in the old <laughs> games, right? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. He will never attack Tifa unless, it's, unless she's the only one left on the field, right? Okay, okay. Um, what do you Contemplate call it? Contemplate also mentioned this to me, and he, tre- yes. he did the same experiment. What do you call it? When, when I was fighting Rude for the first time, he was under orders not to hurt Aerith, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... So <laughs> when Rude lands any of his giant sick ass command grabs on Fuck you, yeah. he does some sick shit. He does like a German suplex. <laughs> he does like yeah. a giant swing. Yeah. Like I, I had him land everything on me just so I could see. And then I was like, yo, I want to see Rude German suplex Aerith. So I was like, yo, right. I'm going to control Aerith. Disgusting. Yeah, I, I'm going to control Aerith and walk up to Rude. Do it to me. Do it to me. And <laughs> do it again. When when he lands the command grab do on Aerith, he he does a really sick secret agent style shove um and then swift chop to the back of the neck to knock oh. you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he <laughs> vegeta mm-hmm. chops you. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's it's dope. like Sorry, son, son, this is what you deserve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he makes that's not a chop, he punches his son in the stomach. Uh, oh, no, that's who, true. He really does punch. <laughs> Who did the chop again? Uh, there's mm-hmm. there, there's a scene where someone got m- chopped there. Oh, he chops Goten. Goten. Oh, there you go. He punches okay, his son in the stomach. <laughs> he yeah, does yeah. punch his wow, son in the so stomach. so much love. What a dad. Yeah. And, and still, dad. and still, the a better the dad than Goku. A better dad than Goku. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> a more legitimate dad than Goku. Tough love so, it is. <laughs> so later on in the game, uh-huh. um, you face Rude again with Tifa uh-huh. in your party this time. And I was like, yo, I remember. Rude never attacks Tifa. And <laughs> most of the time, whoever you're controlling is the character that will be targeted most probably. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah. okay, let's test this out. So uh-huh. I control Tifa and I start attacking the hell out of Rude. Yeah. Um, he will never, what do you call it, do a direct like geyser or any direct attack against Tifa. He will only <laughs> do his command grab and he'll do the same weak the same ass chop, chop to the back of the, the neck in order yeah. to knock you out. What okay. a weakling. 
intergender Dude, matches are the future, man. No, Dude, Rude is a gentleman. <laughs> in wrestling, intergender matches are the future. No, but <laughs> this is Daniel Bryan. There's no kayfabe here. Well, it's Rude a war. Rude is such a sweetheart. Dude. <laughs> There's no it's kayfabe here. It's a war. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> that's a that's an episode that, title. That's a good episode title. <laughs> that's a good episode title. There's so There's many. no kayfabe here. It's a war. <laughs> Only wars, I guess. Mm. Uh, God. Yeah, because because like I've been seeing people been tagging me. Like a lot of people been tagging me on just the bald guy and Warang. <laughs> <laughs> the best and, like, duo. And even bald like guy and Warang. Yeah, and like. All the time, like people keep tagging me, like from like maybe seven different sources. Na parang oh, it's si rude. Oh, it's si si rude. And then our friend uh, Showcos, uh, Sean Pri- formerly known as Sean Price Cosplay, messages yeah, yeah, yeah. me like one week night. <laughs> he just messages me out of the blue, like, "Yo, uh, I saw you last night. Uh, I bumped into you last night. You're looking good. I like your new glasses." This <laughs> what are you talking about? This brown. No, no, no. We were there, but unfortunately, we had a fight. And then you're talking about F- that FF7 guy, aren't you? Yep, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him in the act. What an ass! Oh, he, he was trying to do a bit. He was trying to do a bit. I'm not lying. Like seven different people tag me in like rude stuff, and I'm like. I, I, I don't have this game. I don't have Dude. this game. Oh, but now, yes. but now, now you do. Yeah, There's no do. escape. That's you true. must be rude now. <laughs> That's why we're, we're running it back. You're Barrett also. Yes, you, dude. You Just are basically everyone. Barrett and Rude combined. Oh God. But you are <laughs> Barrett and Rude combined. All the good Rarit. stuff about Barrett and Rude. Mm-hmm. Barrett. You'll, you'll be rude, but Barrit. with the attitude of Barrett. Yeah. Preaching. That sounds about right. Preaching yeah, the good word of right. Magic the Gathering. Huarang, but park this turkey. But also, <laughs> but but also has social anxieties like Rude. Rude, yeah. like if you know this, he has really? social anxieties. Really? Yeah. 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 He's just me. Yeah. <laughs> You're awkward man. Oh Dude, my that's why there's Reno's a reason. The mouth. There's a reason why Rude stays silent a lot of the time because yeah. um, Rude does not know how to deal with confrontational conversations. <laughs> like he will say something, and if the character snarks back, <laughs> Rude will become flustered. Like <laughs> if you notice, um, he tells. Uh, this isn't the spoiler or anything. It, sure. This is just like a twenty-three small year side old thing. game. OG twenty-three year old game. Seven Lord. But yeah. but Rude straight up says to Aerith, "Yo, stay home." And Aerith's like, "Nah," and Rude's like. Oh but, shit! What do I say now? Okay. Fuck! <laughs> it's like okay. he doesn't know how to deal with somebody uh, answering okay, back. Okay, so okay. In response, that. sak moto sak yan. Tungino, <laughs> dude. Rude politics, man. Rude. Dude, rude, rude is great. You don't uh, find I any. Wait. I, I also <laughs> love how Rude has a million sets of shades. Dude, yeah, it's the it's best. Just in the pocket. He has it's more shades than Barrett. Whenever he breaks a pair of shades, he just has more. They you know that, that scene trope? from Dexter's Laboratory where Dexter opens his closet? If it's rude, <laughs> it's just full shades. of glass. Just full of shades. Mm-hmm. Just full of, yeah, yeah so like, you know that trope where you crack one lens and then the camera cuts to them going, oh, then they take it off. Rude does that like at least four times in this entire game. <laughs> <laughs> where they crack yeah. the one lens, he takes it off, then puts on another one. And like, or even when that's... he's off screen, when he loses his shades, yeah. he'll come in. And I'm like, there's this one fight where, you know, he comes into us as Tuarang. And yeah. Parang, oh, God, mm-hmm. he, he doesn't have his shades on. Then right before yeah. the fight starts, he pops on a pair and like, yeah. yeah. And like the best part about that is that is a character trait and a joke that they invented in Advent Children. Uh. <laughs> like that is yeah. a side joke that they added in Advent Children where Rude... Rude's glasses become broken. He he has a distraught face, and then he pulls out a new pair from his coat. <laughs> Every that was, time I that I was a joke. That, yeah. One time in Advent Children, and now <laughs> they're canon. doing it so many times in the remake. It's great. There's a fight where it. he I breaks two pairs in the single <laughs> in one place. Yeah, yeah it's great. And it's how many goddamn great. shades do you have? <laughs> yeah. It's so great. It's so man, great. It's just all and, shades, man. And I love. I love how Reno says bitch so much. It's so yeah, weird. Reno's weird. It yeah, weirded me out a bit, but yeah, it kind of grew on me. Because dude, I'm, he... I'm used to Reno being going, yo, yo. That, that dude, fucking, like, dude, like their decision 
to okay swearing in this game is the oh, best yeah. thing it's ever. Good. Oh, dude, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's also honest swearing. It's yeah. honest swearing because uh, there is one instance in the game where Aerith will actually swear. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And, um, is it when the ladder breaks? Oh. It's, it's, it's exactly <laughs> it when the ladder she... breaks. That's <laughs> the only spoiler. time Aerith will say shit. Because ah. Aerith mm-hmm. has, like, all these characters are very cartoony in their archetype, you know? Mm-hmm. But they yeah, also yeah, yeah. have, like, a semblance of actual personality. Yeah. So, like, you yeah. can still relate to them as people, even though, you know, they're silly cartoon video game characters. So, Aerith is all, like, uh, oh, she's all being cute to you and you'll be your bodyguard, whatever. And, like, Cloud is trying to be, you know, um, careful Story. with Aerith because she's, like, a... a, a f- a fair, uh, what do you call that? Like She's a, like a, a manic type of pixie frail dream. Frail princess. Yeah. yeah. You know? Frail princess. Then she goes like, I can take care of myself, Cloud. Then she'll try I'm to climb the ladder down. not some princess that needs to be caught. Co- oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. she'll, she'll try to prove to you that king. she's all <laughs> tough. And then the ladder breaks and she swears once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where was her flower broken. shields that time? Dude, that oh, was dude, the one time she swears. And it's the perfect time for her to swear. It's so great. Cloud swears good. Like, yeah, like there's cloud one, there's one limit break where he swears and it's good. Mm-hmm. He says, and, and the first time me. you pop it, you feel it because like it's time to end yeah. this. Like <laughs> like, the, say, l- like the limit break ascension. What does he say, Miggy? Let's, you know yeah, let's dance, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, let's dance, asshole. Let's dance, asshole. Like when it's you pop so it good. during the Reno fight, it's Is so he good. Dante? Dude, I popped it during that quest where you have to kill two really strong bombs. Oh yeah, uh-huh. like the 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 Walmart side story quest, which puts you in that tough like arena fight. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. moment, I in my head, I already said those words. <laughs> That's why when he did it, I lost my mind. Let's <laughs> like, dance. How do you asshole. know, game? How do you know these feelings? And oh, then it man. was the killing hit, so it was perfect. Dude, There's so much this damage. Game, <laughs> this game is just amazing. It, like for me, um, I've been thinking this out loud for like for a while now, but mm-hmm. it feels like 1997 again. It feels like this game is going to change how games are made. Like from now on again. Yeah. Like sure. I'd say like, you know how uh, the term remake in game has in games have uh, has now been kind of standardized that. When mm-hmm, yeah. when certain companies did it before, it wasn't always honest at times. Mm-hmm. When like, oh, it's a remake, but it's actually just a remaster or a yeah. re-release, like an yeah. HD re-release. And then it yeah. slowly, like, I'd, I'd say once RE2 came out, that yeah. was like the most honest remake ever because it's, it's full on, like from the ground up. It's uh-huh. completely different from the old game, etc. Et so, yeah. This one yeah. takes a step beyond where I'd say like it kind of lies to you just a bit. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it... it goes past what uh what standards that you'd expect to be the peak of remake in terms yes. of games this mm. is a fucking brand new kind of game it's super it's so great yeah yeah this ain't no mcdonald's dudes. what and um this ain't no McDonald's. Oh, like people gotcha, are gotcha. it's not mcdonald's no more but um mm. also like i've i've been even before this came out like um i've always been on the pessimistic side because yeah. how do you remake Same. fucking FF7? It's gigantic, right? And how do you yeah. do that in a feasible way without making it shit? And you, uh, Square's track record hasn't been exactly great, you know? Mm-hmm. Fucking, I th- I'd say like the most recent example is Kingdom Hearts 3, where yeah. that game came out after so long, but it, yeah. does, it doesn't nothing. change enough to warrant the two console generations that it like it skipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was mm-hmm. supposed to be on PS3 and that didn't happen. It came out mm-hmm. on PS4 and like nobody's talking about it. And what what you do see of it, it's like, why is it still doing these like tropes of what a video game should, like what video game padding looks like? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because for, especially for, for Kingdom Hearts fans, what you want is like, I want to finish the story that you set up fucking 20 years ago, right? Game. 2001. Yeah, like, in the first game, games. right? All, uh-huh. I went through the Game Boy Advance. I went through the fucking mobile game. I went through oh, all the God. DS remakes of that. I went through fucking The World Ends With You because somehow they're also in here now. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 finally comes out and like, oh, we have to roll a snowball using our feet like a clown to help Elsa. <laughs> and like, this has nothing to do with the main story. Like, <laughs> It's just Why am Disney I doing stuff. favors for this princess who can do yeah, it it's, herself? It's really just another Kingdom Hearts. It's like, yeah, yeah it's just it's, another it's one. It's Kingdom Hearts in kind of like the bad way. 
Because you kind of forgive it back then. Because like, oh, it's on PS2. Like, you know, nobody knew what games could be. And it's like, like you know, Alice it's, in it's Wonderland World over yeah. and over. No, dude, it's worse. It's the what? It's the like. The Tarzan world, where you have to swing oh, through stupid screens. Oh, I hate Ugh. Tarzan world. For no Tarzan reason. Tarzan world is the worst. All that mm. weird backtracking, and you never know where you need yeah. to be. Fuck that world. And when you fall down, you have to do everything again, because you go down to the surface area. Oh, I hate Tarzan world. Right? I hate uh, Tarzan the movie. Or like the sucks. fucking... The, the, <laughs> the fucking Little Mermaid stuff, where it's a, a music rhythm game for some reason. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, because under yeah. the... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because it wasn't that way in the previous game. It was a full-on actual explorable world. Then come the sequel, it's a rhythm game. So it, oh. it does those things still. And it's mm. it's kind of, you know, it pushes you far enough that you don't want to just engage even though you've put time into like the story of it you know, for I, years and years and years. I think here's the then FF7, for me. Right. FF7 yeah. doesn't do any of that. It's it, it's way it, more honest than it needed to, than anyone expected it to be. Mm-hmm. It's completely different than what you also initially thought it was going to be. And it mm-hmm. like it's just so good Still. in most every aspect that it's it, kind of unbelievable. It it did so much that it didn't have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Uh-huh. It's it's like, it's everything we wanted and and more. It's like it's just some. making me so happy. Like just like, just the the presentation alone is something to be oh, yeah. like proud of like something for the devs to be proud of like i kind of am baffled like this is from the guy who made kingdom hearts 3 and fa- and does things in final fantasy 15 and um if you compare how they present the transitions that happened in final fantasy 7 remake mm-hmm. it's worlds apart it's like so how clean. how cinematic and how uh smooth the transitions are in this game Compared to Kingdom, like I think the current one, Kingdom Hearts three, it's it's just baffling because how come they didn't do it in Kingdom uh, in Kingdom Hearts three with maybe all that he was too time, busy right? perfecting maybe, yeah. FF seven. <laughs> yeah, it, maybe it is. Uh, yeah. I, I think yeah, like Kingdom Hearts three runs on a different engine. Kingdom Hearts three runs on Unreal four, I think. So that might be a bit of it, but oh. you know, it still does the fade to black before proper gameplay. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. Final Fantasy will just have pre uh, like will have game rendered cutscenes, then immediately goes into gameplay, right? Dude, like dude. you can sort of tell when the camera pans around, like oh, it's it's gameplay time. Uh-huh, but then there are uh-huh. moments where you're like, no, it's not. It's it's yeah. still, dude, the the fight, still going. Dude. dude, one of the crazy parts is that a lot of these cutscenes are in engine, yeah. and like yeah. like um just a while ago, just like a few hours ago, I was fucking around on on hard mode. And I managed to get um, a a table stuck to cloud in a cutscene. I I, yeah. I I will upload the video later. I <laughs> nice. I managed to put a table in the cutscene, <laughs> in the cinematic cutscene. There's a random table hanging off Cloud's face. It's great. You have done it because everything is game rendered, right? I think there's only mm-hmm. four pre-rendered cutscenes yeah. in this entire game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. And yes. um, uh, the the way you can tell it's a pre rendered cutscene is if whatever equipped weapon you have is yeah. there. Changes. If it's not, it's pre rendered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It, it's not just that. It's like if the character's hair starts moving more than normal, right? Or if oh, they start yeah, taking yeah, extremely yeah. close shots while everything is moving. Like, oh, yeah. something's like, off or, here. Or if Cloud but, like, the, the pre render is so Asian. clean. Cloud looks yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, they look a bit different in the pre-rendered cutscenes. I'll admit that's that's but, a little um, bit of an FF. I, I do isn't like. It? Yeah, it is. I do it like what is. they do in one one pre-rendered cutscene, where what? it assumed that you're using because there's one pre-rendered cutscene where Cloud has the Buster Sword equipped, mm-hmm. and two Materia slots are used up, and mm-hmm. one of them is uh, a linked green Materia, mm-hmm. so it's green and then blue on the bottom. So when when the when the cutscene happened, I was like. Man, this cutscene is really pretty. It, mm. Is it pre-rendered? No, it can't be. I'm using the same equipment that I have. And yeah. then it, it zooms in closer and like, oh, it's pre-rendered. And like, Sick. how did it know what sword I had on? How did it know <laughs> what equipment I had on? And it was just a like a starkingly accurate coincidence that my loadout happened to be exactly what was on screen. Cool. It tricked really, me, dude. Don't you think it... It, it assumed it, that at this point the player would have this equipped with this similar looking setting and like, Damn, it's like have you tested that? Have you tested that? What if it's pre-rendered as fuck? 
I brought a okay. different sword one time, yeah. Okay. It's but at that moment when I first ran into it, I pretty much had the exact same thing on Cloud at that given moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, kind of hilarious. Contemplate said uh, one of the stupidest glitches or cutscenes he had was Aerith and Madame <laughs> M crushing a chair into the wall and the noise went nuts. Yeah, yeah. So I, I managed to catch this on stream. Um, it's when Madame M walks into the, the waiting room in the Coliseum. Yeah. And then she'll open the door and talk to you in front of the door. There mm-hmm. was a steel chair by there and then her model shoved it into a wall. So it was <laughs> rattling consistently throughout the entire cutscene. And Charlie couldn't, he was losing his mind. It's like, I can't hear anything. This chair <laughs> is just <laughs> rattling. And then he looked after and like, yep, that's the chair. It's right there. No, oh, jeez. Then I got, I got to recreate that as I was like redoing hard mode. And it's like, this game is silly. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. care and it's great. I'm looking oh, at, I was that's looking at some of your your glitches like through the throughout the whole week. Like there was one time you tried to kill Aerith <laughs> with the with the the packing containers and the shipping containers. Oh, with the arms, with the robot <laughs> yeah, arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and that thing won't allow it to crush it. Yeah, it prevents you from doing that, yeah. but it does so in a silly way. <laughs> It'll rattle was, those shipping like, containers. The latest one, Miggy, was the one where you tried. To um, put the bike into one of the <laughs> oh, that's the happened at least boxes. five times already. Yeah, <laughs> like it sucked in the bike. It goes through the world. Mm. It needs to be <sighs> free. It needs to go yeah. some. Yeah. It needs to go to the live stream, you guys. Yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Man. The bike has returned to the planet. <laughs> <laughs> it's now feeding oh, all man. your toasters. I'm, oh god, uh, man! I can't wait to play this game, dude. Yeah. I can't dude, wait. Play. I think the next so time we're gonna talk about we, this is uh, yeah. about your experience, and Definitely. probably if you finished yeah. it, we gotta talk about uh, everything. Yeah, the rest. Because as much as we'd like to be impartial when it comes to talking about like how a game performs and all that, mm-hmm. we're the three of us are big Final Fantasy VII marks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we huge. we can't ignore. Like yeah. marking out to things sometimes, maybe uh-huh. more than say another person should. But you, Rafi, you will be going into this with Hell the eyes nine. of someone yeah, fresh. who doesn't yeah. doesn't have the rose tinted glasses for it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we'll see. And That's if it holds to true to what it what we say it is to a person who doesn't know like mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. much about FS7 as we do, right? Then that means it succeeds because yeah. it yes. needs to tackle like a wider player base in that aspect. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Eyes right. eyes unclouded by calm. Yeah. What? It needs to stand alone. <laughs> All right. It, I, I like. No, no, no. It's don't, don't explain. It's a, no explain. Yeah. Uh, I, okay. I feel like that's. I feel like that's a good like ending statement to just <laughs> let let people sink in into like Raffi, without eye. eyes unclouded by calm. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that an episode and with that, Sure. There's so many. <laughs> Sure. Which one will get flagged for? <laughs> yeah, for two, that's how we choose. We'll banned What's the anger. most unethical one that we can use? With <laughs> that one for sure. Eyes, <laughs> Eyes clouded, unclouded clouded by come. Come. Okay. You gotta type it's it. In the list. It's in the list. It's in the list. Uh, it's in the list. Uh, yeah. It's in the list. <laughs> it's in there. Um, so yes. Before we bust another nut and <laughs> and come all over nice so, everyone so else's everywhere. eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Um, um. I think that's it for FF7. Yeah. 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 That was. It was a wild ride. Of, yeah. of one hour worth of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we could say anything else, it, it's not over because there's still the story. Yeah. <laughs> there's a yeah, lot. Yeah. We still have to like, talk about to avoid that. the story. Yeah, but we'll yeah. we'll save that for another time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what? Aside from FF7, what have you guys been doing during your weeks? Okay, who wants to start us off? Who wants to start us off? (laughs) We did nothing. 46-hour game time, dude. There's only so much you can do. (laughs) All I did was work, clock out, and play FF7. Man. I've achieved none. Okay. Okay. I I did do... so unproductive this week. Holy shit. Okay, I did do one thing, but I do not recommend it at all. Okay. Oh, Oh, God. What is it? So... I kind of sat down and watched the movie Contagion. Oh, oh no, yeah. don't not I do meant that. to go. <laughs> we <laughs> did that. <laughs> yeah, so oh. um so basically Contagion is a movie from uh-huh. 2011 yeah. starring uh oh, Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> it was the plants I mean, all along. 
that's no fair. If you say it like that, it sounds. What? Like... <laughs> but it, that's how you say it always. Matt Damon and Gwyneth Paltrow, uh-huh. where in um, it's, a, it's a, a star-studded cast. Dude. It's that's a star-studded thing. cast. Yeah. It's like fucking Matt Damon, yeah, Gwyneth Jude Paltrow. Law. Then that's it. There's um, Jude Law. They got Jude Law. They Terry Crews. Uh, who's that? Uh, Kate Winslet is Kate uh, Winslet in there. We, Shia we have well, we have Morpheus. <laughs> Morpheus is in there. Yeah, 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 Terry yeah. Crews. Um, the Khan is Terry Crews in there? Yeah, Khan Gwyneth from Paltrow. Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, George well, Clooney. Yeah, um, anyways, so <laughs> the dog from John Wick. <laughs> So Contagion, <laughs> Contagion is a 2011 movie yeah. about a contagion. So ah, um, no it shit. follows yeah, <laughs> the the early part of the movie follows Gwyneth Paltrow's character as she has um, a high powered international business trip throughout uh, the world. Ooh, like yeah. uh, <laughs> high and, powered. And, ooh, yeah, I mean, like, she, she's she's a powerful corporate woman going on big business, and she's traveling the world. And I've then, never heard the trip described as powerful. Dude, I mean, it's a powerful trip. I went, I went, to, a power, I went to a powerful trip, trip to Italy. <laughs> dude, it was dude. so powerful. Dude, all so, the salmon. So, <laughs> salmon. so Gwyneth Paltrow did a lot of business, shook a lot of hands, did uh-huh. a lot of high fives, handed off a lot of documents. Uh-huh. And then she gets home and dies. So, what the um, f- sick. <laughs> that so, wasn't too, too powerful. Wait a minute. No, yeah, she <laughs> dies immediately. She immediately oh, eats it. She starts foaming at the mouth dies oh, no. and oh, um basically everyone she touched on that trip oh, dies God. too it, it, Holy it's nubs. it's and then Ooh. this entire movie is mm-hmm. just about the world trying to contain a deadly new type of virus right yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's hence so contagion. real yes H- hence contagion <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you call it and it's it's so crazy real because they call it a novel something virus, right? Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's because it's, it has novel characteristics that we haven't seen before and yeah. we, we, we haven't prepared for. That's yeah. why it's infecting so many people at this rate and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. They explain um, 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 how you track this sort of thing. It goes through how a world might go through a pandemic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you get the side of the journalists, you get the side of the local government, you get the side of the federal Dude, government, the... you get the side of the media, you get the side of the bloggers, you get the yeah, side man, of like... the side of the content creators kind of uh, oh, grinds my oh. gears, man. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> fucking content Jude creators Walker. stir in the pot, man. It's so <laughs> shitty. Uh, but the, yeah, fucking get good. Uh, learn how to play the game. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> they're not good at contagion. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Um, so I watched this movie, and I, I highly recommend not watching this movie. Oh no, <laughs> a reverse wreck. Yeah, yeah, because because all it did to me was make me more anxious about the current situation right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, but like wouldn't watching... that mean the movie was good because it was portraying no, an yeah. accurate well, yeah. representation? Yeah. Actually, what? the movie was yeah. good. The movie was good. But the thing is, it's just too real, man. Yeah. As in, a lot of the things outlined in this movie are happening right now. And Oof. like, I'm just like, yo, this... It's not cool. It's not yeah. cool. Uh-huh. This is happening right now. This movie was made in 2011. And this is happening right now. And it's freaking me the fuck out. But I finished it anyways. <laughs> I think nice. my recommended uh, movie to wash away how real it is is if you watched Now You See Me and Now You See Me 2 back to back. Why? <laughs> so everything would yes. be That's uh, going a to blur. Clear up a lot of stuff. Is it- is, is yeah, this like is this like the second time he's shilled this to us? Yeah, I think so. it feels it's like the second time. Familiar. You mentioned mm-hmm. it last time, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Just turn do your it. brain off. Because okay. if you don't, okay. if, if if you don't want uh, that that type of magician movie, you could go with National Treasure or yeah. I'd recommend National Treasure more. But like, yeah. if you if you don't turn your brain off before watching, now you see me. It'll do it for you. 
Oh no! <laughs> and then you'll crack your pants or whatever. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the ending, because you, you literally that's that's don't the real understand. Magic. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the real oh, prestige. Because because I heard uh, why contagion is so uh, um, realistic, even though it was made in 2011. They consulted with a guy who is like one of the experts of of like this type of stuff. Like he's oh, shit. yeah yeah yeah. That's why it, and and when this new thing was happening. Um, they're trying to, they're trying to, like, get his opinion on how to do stuff and this and that and this and that, and then uh, he he shielded out uh, Contagion. Watch it; it's basically a realistic like parang take on what's gonna happen. And now I googled the guy; he has the virus. Oh, wow. oh no! <laughs> so he did it for science. Oh yeah. Oh no! The guy's name is Ian Lipkin. I think he's fighting it still, but yikes! Oh, that's no, good. he's, that's he's good. beating it up. Yeah, beat it up, beat it up. Yeah, beat it, beat up, it up, up with with science. Get good, um, son. Anything else? So, yeah. so I watched Contagion. Yeah. I played FF7. I did work. Dude, that's 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 just my week. Um as far <laughs> as quarantine situations go though, like like uh the my mental map of my neighborhood yeah. has now turned into like an RPG for me. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. still you still like, like this is the that third I- segment of this. Dude, like mm. that item store is 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 open at <laughs> Which this one time has the material? And, and has yeah. this material up for sale at this time. And like my my routes have been further optimized. I've discovered new vendors. I've nice. discovered like like new services in the town. It's yeah. it's 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 interesting. And I also found out? a Facebook group ah. called uh Is this called, about the ants? Oh god. No, Wait, no, 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 no. What? Well, I mean if you want me to go there, I will, yeah, but I mean, um, I'm um, part of it now. Ants, part okay. of oh no. There's there's this Facebook group uh that's dedicated to all of the quarantine people here in my neighborhood and okay. like everyone's just sharing their tips and tricks on how to get by and like yo, See, yo dude, you could totally buy bread here or like nice. yo dude. Whoa. Like shit like that. It's mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. nice. It's nice. But like like I said a while ago, I live in a pretty like upscale neighborhood and like mm-hmm. um sometimes uh, probably 80% of the time this Facebook group gets pretty first world problemy Uh-oh. and like it <laughs> it's so weird, man. It's like <laughs> Does anyone know where I can get gluten free something? <laughs> oh and I'm just God. like, oh no, oh no. Um, I mean, I understand if you have a gluten allergen or whatever, exactly. but like, oh no, oh, like like probably As not the best example, but there's yeah. but there's something else there, it, like like it that reeks of first world problems, and it's just like getting to me, you know? Yeah, because I live here. Yoga mats. Uh, dude, no, n- d- d- you. I mean, you that's are also not my question. <laughs> no, no, yeah, bro. Looking for him. yoga mats. That is an actual question on that yeah. Facebook group. Where How can I buy I yoga mats? No, no. I, How will for I real, live like, without a um, yoga mat? I'm actually, I actually want to buy a yoga mat. <laughs> oh, that's you are the the Facebook. No, because oh, you, I need you're the exercise. The and, no, no, it's uh, not a problem. It's, it's, it's a it's an actual. Migs, Migs. Your eyes are clouded by cum. I'm not basic. <laughs> it's not wrong. Also, Mings, yeah. I, I I hate to break this to you, but the mat is just the cloth. Like, 90% of yoga is your body. <laughs> I know, I know. No, but the, the mm. soft padding, though, so yeah, that your knees yeah, yeah. don't hurt. There's a That's bed. True. That's true. Just do your bed, man. It can't. It's yeah. not as the, firm the, as the yeah, floor. It's not, it's not as hard. <laughs> ah, boo. But it's not as soft. Why don't you <laughs> choke on your? <laughs> Why don't you wear hockey pads and then <laughs> you know, choke on your soy latte? You see? <laughs> Man, dude, he's vegan, dude. It's the uh, Lord. He is vegan. He's yeah. vegan. He's vegan. My, but what do you call uh, it? Like yeah. but avocado. Probably, <laughs> probably eighty percent of the posts though are just like people updating. Yo, how long is the line at this grocery? Yeah, how long nice. is the line here? How long is the line here? What's so that's the nice. schedule of the next Zumba session. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! But dude, you, that that uh, yoga mat thing—that's a real thing. Yeah, that's a real that's, thing. that's a real I've, post I've that was on this group. Oh, my God! Do you get I've the panics? So, I've, I've, <laughs> do you get the little panics that that like you you kind of forget? Like this happens to me all the time when I go downstairs to get the the food and all that stuff. Like I touch like the elevator to press the down, and then <gasps> I'm I I get so anxious about it. I'm like. What if that was it? <laughs> mm. 
Dude, it's got, you dude. Got, that's why you got to wash your hands afterwards. Exactly, dude, you, but you, like, yeah. You got to have I, I a, completely, an, I completely understand because Donna and I have come up with a system. Yeah. It's like when I leave, uh-huh. when I leave the condo, uh-huh. it's like me leaving the vault in exactly. order to yeah. s- s- scrounge for supplies. Yeah, yeah, I put yeah, on all my equipment. Yeah. Like, 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 I put on the mask, I put on Good. headphones, I cover every mm. orifice of my body, nice. right? Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. like, like, in, in my, in my jacket put the butt pocket. plug in there. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Wrong dude, 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 I have, in one pocket, I have pepper spray. In the other pocket, I have alcohol spray. I hope I don't mix them up. Um, <laughs> in my jacket no. pocket, a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Just to plug up any holes <laughs> in case it came through. You ain't my getting me. Regions. Yeah, yeah. You ain't and, getting me, Flo. <laughs> and then after after I go out for supplies and I, and then I come in, Don and I have this ritual where yeah. where where we I stand in the doorway. Yep. I hold out my arms and I spin around while she assaults Blasts me with Lysol you. spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just. Beat him up. You have to be sure. You have to be yeah, sure. Yeah. And then that's I watch also my unhealthy for a different reason, but oh, yeah. you know, that's it's still so better than, we, than getting we, the bad. I kind of have the same like procedure. Like even though I'm just going to the corner of the street, mm-hmm. I always do a death stranding cutscene where I equip, <laughs> I equip gear. I always have a pouch, like a military pouch. Sick. I have my uh, alcohol bottle holster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ready yeah, yeah. for anything and then I got, I got the mask I got the glasses and the earphones and the hat because you know you gotta yeah, protect yeah. the mm-hmm. hair you gotta, you gotta uh, cover access- the hair yeah you gotta accessorize <laughs> you you can't get hit by the time rain I always I always <laughs> have the Spotify on uh, what's that uh, listening to the Death Stranding album Oh, yeah. wow. dude, that'll protect dude. you. That'll protect you. <laughs> that will make me. No, it worse, gets him in the actually. mood to be vigilant. <laughs> yeah, okay. dude. Yeah, low, when I he'll pee on all the monsters. Last yeah. grocery <laughs> run I did, I was listening to the FF Seven, um, um, the FF Seven Midgar soundtrack, like like all uh-huh. of the themes from Midgar, like the slums, mm-hmm, like yeah. like the Sector Five area, and it's fucking dystopian as fuck, and it's yeah. just it just fits the mood so much because the streets are empty. The streets are super <laughs> duper empty. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> what are you calling? That's um, so good. The streets are so empty, and 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 around my neighborhood, there's just this like military truck oh, shit. roaming oh, the streets, Shindra. shouting at people to stay inside. Oh. So it's just like it just feels dystopian as yeah. fuck out there right now. You gotta be sterner. Go home and stay there. Mm-hmm. Or else we'll shoot. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, God. dude. How long are we still gonna do this, dude? That's that's pretty much my week. But yeah. but 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 there has been a development on Ooh. on the Facebook wherein a lot of people have been spending their time, including uh-huh. myself. Uh-huh. So just to be accurate with this, huh. what do you call it? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right now. Uh oh, and. And and I'm gonna send you guys the link. Okay. And basically, this is a Facebook group called a group where we all pretend to be ants in an ant colony. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the queen. Yeah, for the queen. Oh wait, and, this is um, icky. No, I can't. Yeah, right no, now, it's not. right Anything. now, Anything. there are about six hundred thousand members in this group, <laughs> yeah, in and this there are six hundred thousand people all just pretending to be ants. <laughs> and um, I don't Cannot. know if it's a good good sign or a bad sign, but all the people <laughs> in the quarantine are just losing their minds. Mm-hmm. And I literally watched like 7,000 people pretend to be ants lifting a Pringle the other night. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, it, if you guys are into this at all, role-playing as an ant in an ant colony, um, check out a group where we all pretend to be ants in an ant colony on Facebook. Oh, Someone's calling Rob you Jam out on here. chat. Yeah. What? 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 Rob, Rob Jam Jam is hell late to the ant party. Oh, I'm hell oh, late to the ant yeah. party. The new wow. hotness is people pretending to be roaches. Ooh, so I'm not good with that. I'm not good with that. No, We're going down. We're going down a very treacherous path that I w- <laughs> I cannot follow. 
<laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, I've only I'm seen the group this. where people pretend to be ant eaters. Like, like, oh, oh yeah, the ant eaters one are is good. Yeah, the ant eaters so one I've seen, and and the people traitors. from the ant group don't like the people from the ant eater group. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, even so is it all the, just a bunch of slurping ro- sounds. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like the roach group also has uh, uh, shared animosity out, towards the uh, ant I'm colony. Dude, dude, yeah. like one of the posts I saw in the ant colony group was great because somebody posted like a somebody posted a picture of an ant eater that was crudely drawn with an ant disguise saying hello fellow <laughs> ants how do you do and it's just Did like have a 9, 000, just 9000 replies of bite and it's like, yeah, okay. attack bite, attack <laughs> bite defend i'm getting itchy dude yeah dude, oh. dude oh no <laughs> that's it for my week that's, that's it for great. my week it's just the that's thought <laughs> all right who else wants to go next what are the Miggies? I guess, oh, I, guess I'll I am it. the one Miggy. Ah, the one Miggy. I guess. Yeah. So rule them all. The right. king even. The other one is an S. That's true. The Miggies. That's true. <laughs> the Miggies. Migsis. Would you yeah, like to exist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Like, all right. Other than playing Final Fantasy, like, yeah? I haven't um, done anything that much except I watched Netflix while I was working <laughs> during my okay. shifts. So what mostly watch, what I've been, right. um, like, what what I've been um, putting on my Netflix on the background while I was working is usually just cooking shows again or like shows mm-hmm, about mm-hmm. food. Mm-hmm. And recently, it's um, Ugly Delicious. Oh, dude! So I'm not sure if someone <laughs> someone recommend this to me in in, I think in so. Good Trades or someone recommend this to me. I I, I remember, but I don't know. Um, yeah. So it's it's just about. This chef, who's uh, passionate about street food and uh, other, like, oh, there it is. Charlie recommended to me. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. I'm sorry, Charlie. Yeah, contemplate said I recommend to you, son. So yeah, uh, it's about um, street foods. Like, there's this show called Chef's Table mm-hmm. where they feature chefs from fine dining, right? Mm-hmm. And what they do and what their life is. Uh, in Ugly Delicious, it's all about. Um, Street foods like pizza, tacos, uh, lobster or um, shrimp, so yeah. stuff like that. And this chef, uh, his name's David Chang. David so Chang. he goes with other celebrities or uh, colleagues to talk about uh, the topic of the episode. Like for example, in episode one, it's all about pizza. Mm-hmm. Um, they visited this this guy who makes uh, very delicious pizza in New York. And they try to um, talk about it, like uh, like what he thinks about Domino's, what he thinks about um, like actual old school Italian pizza. Mm-hmm. So they go through that kind of uh, talk and discussion, and suddenly it's not just about food anymore; and it's more about culture, life, and life as a like pizza philosophy man, philosophy, and oh, like um, the more I watch this season, mm-hmm. uh, the more it's about. Um, not just about food, but 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 the culture of the of the place of that the, the food, food man. originates. Oh, like, okay, okay. So it also has that type of uh, the the host and his beliefs when it comes to food. Like oh, that's cool. Uh, he that's wants cool. food to be as open to anyone as possible. Like he he is kind of. Um, He's kind of pissed off that some 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 traditional stuff still is traditional stuff. Like for example, in Louisiana, where how they prepare uh, shrimp is always about that. And when he tries to suggest it in a different and more um, progressive or what you call this um, progressive this shrimp a, cooking, of a course. better way of <laughs> of of of, of, pre- of preparing shrimp. Or mm-hmm. lobster, more uh, humane. They, they shunned him off because it's not the way. It's not. <laughs> it's not the. It's in tradition. Damn so, Mandalorian! Like oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, gotta yeah, brutalize yeah. the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we, we gotta so separate the shrimp from its family first, oh, yeah. and 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 make sure they're watching when we cook them. That's yeah, the yeah. traditional way, son. <laughs> But yeah, so far it's the, it's the a, anguish it's a and show. the despair makes it taste better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The sadness creates a deeper shrimp flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, so far it's a it's a good show to watch uh, yeah. while I'm trying to like wake myself up <laughs> during yeah. work shift hours, and it's 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 great. Like you learn some stuff about about the food that they're talking about. What's not great is that the the following urge or um. Well, yeah, the following urge to actually buy pizza or buy tacos. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it, yeah. it destroyed me this uh, this week. Thank God that I I, I was able to buy pizza. Oh, uh, dude, how <laughs> I've been trying to buy pizza because like all of the shakies said they are open, but they're not answering yeah. their phones for me. Um, mm-hmm. We well, my my little brother uh, goes to Landers for groceries, and okay. usually like SNR they have pizza, so that's it. Oh, oh that's shit! Good, but yeah. Um, other than Ugly Delicious, what else? Uh, I guess I played a bit of Resident Evil Three, but I just Is played out? it a while ago. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. It's it, it it was out last week. Shoot. Okay. Um, I I played a good, like a good hour or so. I feel so... like no one's talking about that compared. Oh to, yeah, because compared they to Seven, the Shadow of the Room. Yeah, dude. Seven. Man, that's but too But so bad. far, um, it's great. Like, it's a good first hour. Um, I don't think that I want to spoil or describe the experience of the first ten minutes of the game because that it's one was very good. different. Oh. It's very than the original. Oh. It, it shows you what what happened before the original PS1 game started. Really? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. a man who locks himself in a trailer container? No, no, no. no, no. no. You remember how the PlayStation 1 game starts where there's an explosion in an alleyway? Yeah. yeah then yeah, Jill yeah. rolls out? That's how it starts, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how the fuck does that happen? Yeah. Ah, that's true. It. Cool. Um, they made an entire segment it's, for it. It's a good cool. It's a good intro. Like, at first I was... Well, well I already know that this is going to be... Uh, Resident Evil 3, but during the first few minutes of the game, if you're not, if you went in blind for this game and don't know any or haven't seen any of the gameplay footage, you will you will be surprised on what they did for the first 10 minutes of the game. It's good. And yeah, that's my week, dudes. Oh, it's, all just, it's all just that, Final that, Fantasy. No, that that's intro okay. That's okay. Re three remake makes me wonder why. Like, how does Jill not die from the first ten minutes? I didn't get to draw anything. <laughs> uh, um, that's a solid. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Miggy? What have you been doing all me. the weeks? So yeah, same dealy with the exact same sentiment that Mix has, where I didn't do anything productive today. <laughs> oh man! For, like this entire week. <laughs> yeah. Like I thought about it, but then I ended up like playing five hours of FF Seven straight, and then like, nice. Fuck! Now I have to sleep. Oh shit! Then, you know, I just remembered like what I did. <laughs> so, okay. Go ahead. No, no, I think you did no. that also, Biggie, because I I know you played some some Mahik. Oh yeah, yeah. So Mahik. They got played a bit after you. Oh yeah. So yeah. Go I'll, for it. Oh okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Um. This actually yesterday or this Friday mm-hmm. they finally released uh, Ikoria, Lair of the Behemoths for oh, the, yeah. Magic the Gathering Arena. Right. And I basically um, did a draft or a pre-release or a limited event. Yeah. Um, since yeah, this is this is one of the things that I'm gonna miss. Or well, well we already missed it. <laughs> and yeah. it's it's pre-release basically yeah it's pre-release uh, stuff right now oh, pre-release for us I yeah, love dude. pre-release but I'm not. Mm-hmm. so yeah I did try uh, Ikoria mm-hmm. and this time I did the Emil way where I never oh <laughs> yeah you didn't study any Don't of the study. cards yeah I only know <laughs> about oh this is cool because it's it's monsters it has Godzilla it has yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Vivian Reed that's it that's dude, all that dude, I know. I'll do you one better. I didn't even know the name of the set till you guys told me. <laughs> wow, he's still. <laughs> Next he's time, he's not even going to know so the game. You're so fucking downplaying <laughs> it. I, I, I'm super out of the loop, man. <laughs> that was, that was four one. <laughs> or There's three a new one. set. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so this set uh, it it uh, focuses on monsters because that's the theme. Uh, big yeah. old giant monsters. Big boys. And the abilities and the what what you call those guys like it, it, mutations it's abilities right 
So yeah. uh, this time it's uh, mutate, mm-hmm. and basically how mutate works is that um, if there is a creature that has a mutate ability, it's basically you can cast this creature for its mutate cost. But in order to do that, uh, you got to have a non-human creature on your board oh. for you to mutate it. So, so you, you do you so have you, to sacrifice that? No. no. What happens uh. is if you mutate, you put it on top of it. And all it's of like the evolving abilities, in Pokemon. Yeah, basically like evolving in Pokemon. Oh. All of the abilities yeah. that those creatures have uh, will what? be in this new... Yeah. For monster. real? So oh my god. It'll oh, have the sick. stats of the card on top, uh-huh. but any abilities of the cards underneath it will apply to the card on top. Yeah, will carry what over. The fuck? Yeah. yeah. So, so it can learn what, what ability of another creature that you have on field. Yeah. Yeah, so there's so a lot small. of kooky um, yeah. combinations that you can think of. And also on the new cards, like there's one creature is just an egg. <laughs> like a zero two egg. Just but a nice egg. It's, it's, oh, a, it's abilities it that whenever it mutates, you put a one plus one uh, plus one plus one counter on it. So mm-hmm. that alone is also it's already helpful because if you mutate it, you get additional stat buffs. Mm-hmm. And for example, I, what I did was that I mutated into a flying creature. That whenever that thing mutates, you draw a card. So, so, so it gets if, bigger, and you get card gen. If you get, it gets bigger, and then you get card draw, and then so on and so forth. And then there are also creatures that has, for example, abilities that if you mutate that. Uh, you can tap X amount of creatures, uh, where X okay. is the number of times you mutate that Whoa. said creature. Oh my god! So it's it's uh it's crazy. Like uh, mutate is such a fun mechanic uh, for this set, and right. drafting this set is fun. Um, so far, I've drafted it twice. Mm-hmm. First, it was uh, I've been I've I've drafted. Uh, I think what I did was Mardu humans. Mm-hmm. So humans is is a thing now again in this in this set so there's a lot of human synergy for for Ikoria mm-hmm. and also there's cycling cy- cycling's back mm-hmm. so that's a mm-hmm. thing too um, but what else um, speaking of draft um, MTGA actually features player drafting now so if you yeah. draft, what? you don't draft with bots anymore. You draft Ooh. with the lobby of oh, eight God, players. Oh, God, that's good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. good. I'm into yeah, that. So it's can, good. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, draft what is it? Can you make a, a draft lobby with your friends? No, no. no. Actually, um, if you start drafting, uh, you, you draft with, with eight players, which is yeah, sort of like a mini, uh, mini lobby. But after that, you, you'll fight. Any other uh, player? Yeah, you still uh, you still play session. against whoever is available. Yeah, not specifically not from the people that. that you pull you pull you uh, you draft pulled with. Yeah, so, so uh, I mean that's for convenience sake, but at least like the drafting process is more realistic now that you I do, do it want that with you know, people like, like a pri- like a private draft session where it's yeah, just you be nice. eight people drafting and also playing against each other. But yeah, that's I mean that's you could now because. Like friend lists are a thing in Arena now, right? They added yeah. that function. Hopefully, in. hopefully in the future update they will do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Contemplate says, "Ah, MTG." <sighs> <laughs> Hang oh, in no. there, my friend. Different <laughs> Sorry, <strokes>. Sorry <laughs> Charlie. But yeah, that's basically my week. Uh-huh. Um, Sick. I want to get so on that to, MTG. To add on that, um, yeah. once you log into Magic, you get a free draft token for Ikoria because that's yeah. the current event. Mm-hmm. And once you claim that, you actually get one free Godzilla card. Yes. So See, I say it? at the very least, claim that now, just to get the extra is, card. Is right. Godzilla, uh, um, what's that called? Public domain? How can no. they do this? Oh. It's, um, um, it's Toei in Japan, but I uh-huh. believe that Hasbro, who also owns like Magic the Gathering, Wizards uh-huh. of the Coast, uh-huh. And like uh, Transformers, My Little Pony. Uh-huh. I think it was the Hasbro side that got the crossover to happen. Wow, yeah, that's so ridiculous official. that it's actual yeah. Godzilla. Yeah. I got excited actually when it was act- when they revealed that it was Godzilla because like, man, is this the first non-Hasbro property that they crossed over with? And then I looked <laughs> it up and like, nope, it's nope. still Hasbro. They got bought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still in it. But oh. I mean, that's super cool how they just put Godzilla in exactly. in a magic card. I thought it was mm. like 
like fake posts like uh, someone made like oh. doctored up a card or something yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like some kind of secret lair special edition that's not legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, but makes, these up cards are legal, right? Yeah, these cards are legal, legal to I'm use because sure. um, they're black it's, borders. It's special because it's basically based on an existing creature in Ikoria. Yeah. So they it, just slap on the Godzilla name on the on it's the card. Treated mm. as the skin. Um, so in the oh. card, you even <laughs> you, you you can even see in the card the original name of that creature. Yeah. So to avoid confusion. So, so like it's know. Godzilla, comma subname, yeah. and then in the regular card it's just the subname. Mm. Then it has the same stats, same abilities, different card name, a uh, different different art, of course. Yeah, because yeah. it it needs to have like the Godzilla monsters in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's and super of course, cool. since that's this cool. is Godzilla, they have Japan work on exclusive Japanese art. Japanese for these yeah. cards. Japanese. <laughs> Japanese. Japanese art. Whatever, Chewbacca. But, but uh, <laughs> let me see Japanese. But but that's the thing. Um I think they've they've like a lot of people uh, caught up with that is that um for for English and European collector booster packs, um uh, mm-hmm. those Japanese alt cards Mm-hmm. Are not gonna be available <laughs> ah. for 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 oh. that pack. You have to buy a Japanese exclusive collector's booster pack. Yeah, to, they yeah, they made it harder to get. <laughs> yeah, and that infuriated oh, well. a lot of people. Of course, the yeah. wizards' greed is there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Present and accounted yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Interesting. I want to be excited about this set, but at the same time, it's not the same as. Um, playing it really uh, like traditionally, on yeah. I mean, sure, oh, yeah. I'm excited because I was able to play it online or in, I mean digitally. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But it's still it's still different if it's you different from playing magic. a real pre-release. Also, yeah. um, since the one in arena is draft and not sealed, uh-huh. you're still playing us a, a different form of limited. Yeah. Right, it's mm-hmm. not like sealed where you have a pool of cards from six They're packs. Still, they, they this one is you, you draft sealed, the packs. I think they still have sealed events there, but of course it's going to be more expensive. Like crazy, you need crazy gems yeah. for it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, but the, the the current event is like regular draft. Yeah, premier and draft, best of three. Yeah, premier draft. Um, so claim those uh, free cards. Yeah. And um, yeah, of course the code is play. Then the name Ikoria. of the set. So play yeah. Ikoria, and yeah. you get three free booster packs too. Also, so, one one amusing thing I've observed uh, related to Magic is that some some uh, LGSs or friendly LGSs are actually adopting to whatever's happening right now. Mm-hmm. So they are sponsoring FNM events. In Ooh. Magic: The Gathering Arena. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've I've been getting emails Sick. about that. I'm into yeah. that. Play so, FNM into at that. home. So, so basically, cool. uh, our LGS near here, which is Wob Shack, uh, basically uh-huh. starts at 4 p.m. So I guess you you just have to register your name and then display whatever, and they will match it because then because these LGS record have their, your games. They have the software for it, right? Uh, yeah. Or you get matched and paired. So from there, you can oh. just go and play. Usually, like I'll do play it. MTGA normally, except that you will be invited by this person that you're paired. Nice. With. I kind of want to do right? that. Cool. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I, I do kind of. Then the it. it's kind of like league, but they're yeah. still doing the matches for you. Uh-huh. That's nice. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So yeah, that's yeah. that's something yeah. to look forward to. Yeah. If cool. you're still into magic, right. so, I so go into magic in addition back. to that, on my mm-hmm. side, because I I also updated my arena after mm-hmm. Mix told me he was doing that, yeah, just mm-hmm. to check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, I pulled a really like really bad packs, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, oh, I got no. I barely got any mutate cards, so I didn't have anything to properly use that. Oh, yeah. I think I got three mutate cards out of fucking four packs. Mm-hmm. So what I ended up getting a lot more of was cycling cards. Mm. Then you get a bunch of like, oh, this creature gains first strike and plus two plus zero when you cycle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my lack of experience on when to use cycling is is playing because like, oh, if I did that, my my dude wouldn't have died this turn if I cycled early as opposed to end step, etc. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I I haven't been able to play with the mutate effect. But what I did see was 
the new types of counters that you have for your creatures. So instead of like, you know, just your typical plus one plus one counter, <laughs> you actually get keyword counters on yeah. your monster. So like this gets a trample counter, this gets a death touch counter, this gets a lifelink counter, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And mm-hmm. um, that's your, your mode of that, combat tricks now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are even it's a creatures permanent that effect. let you choose whether you want the menace counter or trample counter. Sick, yeah, yeah. So when they ETB, you can like choose one or the other. Mm-hmm. Or parang there's this rare that um, it's like a... A six four for three, mm-hmm. yeah. like one black black, but it gives all your opponents death touch counters. Uh, but if their board is the empty, cool, they're just cool. eating this much damage in the but face, right? So wow, that sounds actually, dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds like a Rafi card. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> like quick beat down type of card. So yes. there's stuff like that. So yeah. What's your favorite card so far that you've encountered in the game? Me? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I didn't really pull anything good. Like I go that uh. I, I pulled that good go Gary rare that people are saying is good. But mm-hmm. I have no practical use for it in my current pool of cards. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, like, hey, that's cool that I have it. I, I'll try to do I something with it, f- but right now, voila. My favorite one is probably the counter spell that is a shark. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, <laughs> that, that's basically a creature that, that has Like flash. the one blue, blue, blue with flash. Yeah. <laughs> that thing it's is It's basically dumb. <laughs> a creature card that when it ETBs, it counters a spell. That's so sick. It counters a specific type of spell, I think. No, no, right? it, it counters any spell. Oh, any that, spell? That, I thought it was yeah, like yeah. a targeted or creature spell. <laughs> I don't know. That, that it's a, a counter one. spell on like a 5-5 five five <laughs> with yeah, flash. Yeah. And then there's uh, this one shark whale. pet card that I actually like called uh, Whisper Squad. It's really shitty, but at the same time, it has good character design because it's just okay. uh, it's it's a human soldier for for one CMC, and it has this uh, ability that if you pay one colorless and one black mana, you search your library for a card named Whisper Scar uh, Whisper Squad, put it onto mm-hmm. the battlefield Squad. tap, then uh-huh. shuffle your library. It searches and for itself. Ooh, yeah, right. it searches for itself. And I don't know, like I, I, I really dig the, the, the card design and the, of this. the character design. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I pulled one of those, and mm-hmm. I saw that. Oh, it's it's one of those search for itself, but yeah, it goes yeah. straight to the field though, so that's actually not that bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a it's a like a free body in a sense. Mm-hmm. I'm looking but at yeah, it right now. It's the... nice. Looks dope. This this soldier like they're human soldiers, but they're in like. Apocalyptic gear, it looks like. Yeah, that Mad looks Max. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad <laughs> Max. Like you have that, 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 that eyes, that, that goggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. So yeah. There's a yeah. bunch of cool like. There's a bunch of like reprints with new art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like adventurous impulses in this and a bunch of other stuff like that. that so that, that stupid links in the M20 is back. Like that <laughs> blue links that. Yeah, the frost links. Taps you. Frost links. Yeah, the yeah, art for is. frost links is so good. I really yeah. like it. It mm-hmm. looks hella fierce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so stuff. There's a bunch of functional cards that you've then seen before, but with n- uh, really nice pacify art. Pacify yeah. again. Pacify is oh. back. Oh, pacif- pacifism. Back. Uh, pacifism, yeah. Oh, okay. So, what else? I, yeah, I, that, some of I feel like that's going to be yeah. a good card this set because, like, these big giant creatures. Beasts, yeah. And then, also, whoop. like, uh, enchantments matter because of uh, right. Theros. Yeah, the pre- So there's mm-hmm. a bunch of, like, there's a bunch of enchantments that can become a creature at some point or uh-huh. something that when you cycle you can make this a 5-5 five, five until end of turn uh-huh. type of deal yeah there's a there's this one sleeping giant card that's basically like dark depths but it's an enchantment and <gasps> yeah you're basically cool. this enchantment if if you draw during your turn you'll get this uh, token mm-hmm. if you get four tokens of these it becomes a squid that's eight yeah. eight so like basically Cthulhu. dark depths Oh, or something like that, yeah. <laughs> squid cool. tribal, squid shark tribal, squid mm. sharks, yeah. So that, so yeah, that's yeah. the that's the magic segment for this podcast. Oh, <laughs> yeah. right. You haven't had Charlie, while. you can come back. <laughs> Someone message Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, come, come back, back now, Charlie, please. <laughs> so aside from the the magics and the Final Fantasies, uh-huh. I I wanted to play something else, but like I just end up going back to. FF7, mm-hmm. I was able to consume a form of video media thing, right? Sure. Okay. Nothing is nothing like Contagion or anything, mm-hmm. but it's something that is fairly new that just came out. Mm-hmm. It's Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. Oh, I saw Ooh. you post about this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it's because um, NetherRealm works with WB, Warner Bros, for their mm-hmm. like uh, DC superhero fighting games and 
I think WB actually owns Mortal Kombat now too. Mm. Oh, okay. Like the, the the video property or whatever. Interesting. So they actually released a new animated movie, and it it pretty much retells the the original story oh, of Scorpio? the first tournament. So ah. it's Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade. Like going to Shang Tsung's island to protect Earthrealm, right? Cool, cool. Mm. But the main star is actually Scorpion. Scorpion for this one. So Hanzo Hakori. Um, you see Hanzo Hasashi, yeah, yeah. Oh, Hasashi. The Japanese man who can't say Ryu because it's um, the Shirai Ryu. Oh no! Oh, no. They said they, that they, now they, in this cartoon. They, they still say that. Oh my god! They said the god, Shirai they... Ryu. It's Ryu. It's fine, dude. <laughs> Yes. But um, it's it's the storyline of say Mortal Kombat Four, because that's the Quan Chi Scorpion storyline uh-huh. <laughs> of how you know how Sub Zero murdered Scorpion's yeah. clan and his family. Oh God! Like Quan turns Chi. out it was Quan Chi all it along, yeah. so he can recruit a strong warrior to fight in the tournament. So they fuse <laughs> that. It's it's like you know the the setup of the original movie, but um, tweaked. To you know, like you see Jax get his arms ripped by Goro Fuck in this yeah. one. The the recruitment of the warriors is a bit different, but they mm-hmm. do a bunch of like uh, references to the original, mm-hmm. like Johnny Cage falling on his ass carrying a bunch of bags as he gets to the island. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, Stuff yeah, yeah. like that. Um, that's good. Him referencing like how something expensive that he's wearing gets broken, so his expensive shirt gets ripped instead of his five hundred dollars sunglasses. <laughs> cool stuff like that. Um, there's a bunch of other like cute references that are not, uh, not like different characters performing different references. So mm-hmm. like I think my favorite one is um you know the final attack that Liu Kang does to Shang Tsung in the original movie. No. Yeah, where it's yeah, yeah. it's sort yeah. of the fireball, but it's like the double punch, All right. um, like the karate move thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The short range. So Scorpion does that to Quan Chi in the final segment of the movie. Damn. And then they the frame references. it in a similar way. And like, yo, that's pretty cool. Uh, the characters are presented a lot better than they were written in the original movie. Mm-hmm. So Sonya isn't like a frail, weird princess. She's actually a military badass and is, you know, hella hardened. Liu Kang isn't the hero, even though Raiden is still saying that, you know, he's supposed to be. Oh, no. And um, they kind of flesh out a little bit. Uh, fucking Kano is still Australian as hell, which is yeah, amazing. Baby. That's as it should I be. Know. Mm-hmm. I know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that we get more. Like, I hope this continues as a series because um, they do allude to, like, it's not over yet. And then they tease, uh, what's his name? Shao Kahn at the very end. Because you yeah. know that that's he's the main bad guy still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hopefully this gets like maybe even just one more movie, I guess. Hopefully use, we get more than that. Did he use the I kind movie of dig theme this of, of it. Mortal Kombat? No, no, it, it's they don't, they don't do the song. Aww. But um, it's it's the kind of animated movie that I wanted from like if Warner the Brothers? if the series was to get an adaptation of Mortal Kombat, like they keep the story similar but at the same time do their own take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one is like it's not. It's not childish like the old cartoon was, mm-hmm. but it's also not, you know, it's it's a bit, the, the gore is cartoony, but it's also like still gruesome mm-hmm. in that sense. It, it's just funny how everyone, when they get cut in half, it looks like a T-bone steak is inside <laughs> them. It's kind mm-hmm. of silly how they do that. And people like shred Neatly like paper. Cut. Wow, they have <laughs> yeah. that kind of violence in it? That's dope. Yeah, yeah. I, well, WB has been doing violence even in their DC cartoons. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Like recently, like the Harley Quinn one, is a, the they Harley. just go balls out. They don't care it's anymore. Ridiculous. Since this is since this is Mortal Kombat, is it as violent as, let's say, Castlevania? Ooh. I, no, it, it goes to a greater extreme because it's Mortal Kombat. You know, oh, people are either okay. the toughest things in the world or they shred like paper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they're either really fragile or tough as nails. I want to see those intestines. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a lot, man. How many, as long as you don't expect that to happen to an important these character. People. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it's some nameless chump, he's going to die hard, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just how the rules go. That is true. Yeah. I do like the art style of this, too. It it kind of hark- it, it gives me the same vibes that the 2003 Ninja Turtles cartoon had. Ooh. The with like with, uh, uh, okay. sharp but boxy edges and then really heavy shading every now and then. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like a comic book type. Yeah, and the yeah. animation is good. The fights are entertaining. They do like the the fucking X-ray attacks where 
uh, like a big really? punch will go into like a an X ray skeleton that shatters Fuck every yeah. now and then. It's awesome. It's kind of yeah. funny. <laughs> it's it's short. It's like an hour twenty minutes. It's a good fun watch. Where is I'd it say. on? Mm. Ah yes. No, say no more, my friend. <laughs> the, the back <laughs> alleys <laughs> of <laughs> the wall, the wall market. I know where that <laughs> is. <laughs> the, the, the bowels of, the of wall market. <laughs> The Pearl right. Jack. <laughs> it's, it's in, in the Pearl. It's in the Black Pearl. Uh-huh. It's in the bottle. <laughs> Housing. So, yeah. Pearl. Anything um, else? Another another one I watch is yeah. um you know when you're scrambling to look for something to watch while you're eating lunch or dinner mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like YouTube isn't recommending anything good anymore. Like I don't want to watch anime because I got to read subtitles. Yeah. You know, like I want to be able to look at my food every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. not miss a story beat. So I started watching GTO on Netflix because oh. that went up not too long Sick. ago. That's cool. The anime or and I actually know the that anime because I think okay. I think they put both, but okay. the anime is a newer edition. I I think I'm not entirely sure, but okay. um, I've never watched it properly. Mm-hmm. Like I've only caught a bit of it when it was on um, AXN. was it Animax? Oh, Animax. Yeah. Huh. I think it was on okay. Animax before, okay. and never really watched it properly. So. I'm I'm juggling through the the different voice options. Like when I when I don't want to read, I'll watch it in English. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> like no, for real, it's a lot better in Japanese. Like the tone is completely different. The lines are delivered much more convincingly. Mm-hmm. It's it's pretty campy in English, but I'd say it's serviceable enough. Like it, it's not atrocious. No man, like they change the dialogue lines every now and then. Some of the dialogue changes are actually pretty cute mm-hmm. in English, but it's it's still a good show. It. You know, it's what up? I thought it would be. Nah, oh, um, out of box thug teacher wins the hearts of his students slowly. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, this episode is for this kid. This episode is for that kid. Right. And it's ex- it's playing exactly like that. And it's it's how old is the show? Like the nineties? Yeah, pretty dang old. Late nineties, yeah. yeah. early two thousands. Nineties, holy shit. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty. Did not early two early two thousands, early aughts, something like that. Yeah. It's um, exactly that. It's exactly that flavor. <laughs> And and it's, it's from it's 1997. Oh, okay. Just when Final Fantasy VII came out. Just like Final out. Fantasy VII. Oh, just when Michael whoa. Jordan got the second champion. Yeah, Space second Jam. One. Second what? <laughs> Tell us, Rafi. He was in the middle. Man. He was in the middle of his second three-peat, right, Migs? Back me up. <laughs> second three-peat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His second three-peat. I think. I don't know. Yeah, because he got two three-peats. Forgot. Anyway. <gasps> Wouldn't that make it the sixth peat? Yeah. But not consecutively, because <laughs> he Six he retired ball, after sir. the first after the first three peat he he retired right. And Am then I he came back because baseball wasn't doing enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is yeah, that is that yeah. when it happened? Baseball Contemplate goal. says, "Who the hell is Michael Jordan?" He's he's <laughs> the the villain from Black Panther, <laughs> from Space Jam, from Space Jam. <laughs> yeah, the villain from Space Jam. <laughs> the villain Jam. from Space. He's the villain in a game. I that's, was that's true. Though. I was rooting. I was rooting for the monsters during Space Jam. <laughs> You're talking so about like... Michael P. Jordan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, well, no, Ma- Michael Jordan still was a villain in a video game. Oh, uh, that exists. Maybe in Charles Barkley's video yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah Charles, Charles Barkley. Shut up and jam. Video game. <laughs> He's like there. Also a villain in the Black Panther movie. Sure. He's also the villain in the Black Panther movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, not, when not the commissioner. So is this Michael the... A. Jordan that we're talking about? Oh, a. No, Jordan, I the know. first one. The when first is Michael one. C. Jordan? After, after. Black Panther 5. So, Migoy, <laughs> what else happened, I think? That, that's pretty much it. Yeah. FF7 has taken most of my week. Yes. I'd say all of my week, actually. Mm-hmm. No, Even when you beat I it, it unlocks wait. a harder difficulty, and I, which is actually really fun because we love the combat system so much. What what you but guys been me. what you guys just went through is gonna be me in a week. <laughs> I, can't gonna, I can't wait. I can't wait to gonna hear you. Obliterate yeah, my life. <laughs> it's either gonna be that, or you're gonna go like, man, this game fucking sucks. You yeah. guys are crazy. You guys is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> No, I think it's silly prob- marks. Like the 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 probability of me liking this game is really really high because just from screenshots and po- tag po- post posts on Facebook, pretty, I'm like man. I'm seeing r- like pretty, wrestling. Just don't I'm look too hard. A character that's just me. I'm seeing like steel chairs <laughs> mm-hmm. and like how steel can I not like this there. game? These are the big three that I'm looking for. 
I'm when the steel chair three. cutscene happened, I literally yelled out the word wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Raffy. <laughs> Thinking of you, Raffy. Wrestling. I was like, he's got to hear this somewhere, right? This is safe for Raffy. That's why. That's why my nose throw it itched. into the void. Was that on Thursday at 7 p.m.? Because my nose like, felt so, actually, something. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. It bothers me that you take note of when you scratch your nose. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have it's, priorities. It's when he throws command grabs, Emil. You gotta mm-hmm. have, you gotta have like markers for your time and during this quarantine. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Every seven p.m., scratch the nose. Um, okay, so, so what have been you me? up to? Yes, what I have been you up. I have words. done some stuff, and I was not obliterated by the FF seven yet. So I was no, able yeah. to do some stuff. I did get obliterated by Fallout though. <laughs> Cause that's my new, <laughs> that's my new yeah. rabbit hole. I'm like, uh, so I, I mentioned I went on a mobile game hunt, like mm-hmm. last last show I was looking for gacha, Disney gacha and stuff like that. Um, I ended up perusing through the the top top mobile games, like top recommended mobile games, and I saw Fallout Shelter. So I'm like, uh-huh. mm, oh boy, I need I need escapism i want to know what it feels like to live in a desolate wasteland and go out and scavenge for food and make a utopian society inside your house i'll go fallout shelter (laughs) okay so um long story short i'm uh, level 200 (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh God. Um, big number no, no, yeah, I mean, uh, number go up. the vault the vault is now it's not level 200 um the vault now has 200 dwellers and it goes down like maybe 18 levels down <laughs> 18 floors <laughs> of of like like apartments and all the junk oh that you God. get to do it's i i went super <laughs> ham crazy. on it and in that that game that game's a really well designed game like even though it's i'm playing it on mobile like if you put your speakers on or if you put uh uh your headset on each room has a different like tone to it there's different music playing there's like oh, nice. if it's a nuclear reactor you can hear like very atmospheric nuclear reactor sounds um <laughs> n- nuka cola bottler you can hear hear like the production machine like doing stuff and stuff um, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know this before that you can now go, or at least you can send your dwellers on missions now. Like you can actually go mm-hmm. for side quests. Like you can assign like different um, dwellers to go to pursue a mission in the wasteland. And when they arrive there after like real world hours, um, you get to play the mission. You get to go oh. through. You go to. Uh, a place, for example, it's a it's another vault or it's another uh, super duper mart or whatever a location, and then there's actually like a written story for it, like a mini like a side quest type of deal that you can loot stuff, you can fight stuff. I didn't know that was in the game. <laughs> I thought it was like <laughs> vault simulator. That's it. That's all you get. Okay. Okay. That's fun. Um, you you make you get to make different rooms and like the fun of it is kind of optimizing your system so it's much like what we're doing in real life right now um so one of the things that i had to do to optimize my system is so um the way your vault gets bigger is you make uh uh, you get new dwellers right you get new people that Mm -hmm. like you can um call from the wasteland or uh you get a man just and a woman in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you get a man and a woman dweller and shove them oh, into yeah, the yeah. <laughs> you shove them into the, oh. the living quarters. Shove them into the baby room. And they yeah. Uh, yeah. And they talk Raffi, each other up. Rafi. Yeah. Rafi, I don't understand. Explain. What happens when um. you lock those <laughs> dwellers in that room? I don't get it. They what happens call inside up, that yeah. room, Rafi. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens from a fallout perspective. They start doing awkward small talk and then they start dancing and then they go into the back room. <laughs> <laughs> And then presumably, oof. yeah, presumably, the fat. yeah, they call an Uber and then a baby they gets delivered. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's that's yes. what's in the back yes, room, yes, the yes. buffet. Um, in order to optimize <laughs> that whole process, I've now I've I've made several like fuck dance. <laughs> Is what I'm calling <laughs> the baby chamber. There's just you're no better than the <laughs> other vault 
overseers. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we, we gotta get to 200, man. I don't know okay. what to tell you. That's how you get Portable. them leveled up. Uh, I made like uh, barracks wherein which fits like six people, but I just put one guy and like five girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so it's Don just, Corneo over there. It's just constant <laughs> baby making. Un living the vault master Raff, a real harem. Really efficient though. Really efficient. Yeah. We got to two hundred mm-hmm. real quick. Um, okay, so so in in doing that whole thing, like being immersed in the whole Fallout universe, like I just I just started to miss actual Fallout. So I started. Okay. That's the reason why I've been playing uh, Fallout New Fallout Vegas recently. Vegas, yeah, because yeah. uh, it's the one that I haven't I haven't played yet from the Bethesda ones. Um, I played New Vegas recently, and super really icky, like hella icky. Like that's that's a game that I forgot was <laughs> hella icky. Like when when I play Skyrim, all I have to watch out for is the spiders, right? Yeah. Okay. But, but in a Fallout game, it there's so really reminded me that there's fire ants, there's red roaches, there's fucking cazadors, right. uh, like there's praying mantis in in New Vegas. There's rad mantises or something. Oh, like, wait, big guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praying praying mantises are on your list. Yeah, but uh, insects and I creepy. guess it's a growing list, Emil. No, it's oh, not no. a growing list. It I mean, makes sense you... in my head. No, no, we've we've if observed this. If the limb is spindly, this. yeah, 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 that's it that's a big one. Icky. We've observed that's a big this. one. The more you play Fallout, the more the number of insects that you <laughs> categorize as icky increases. <laughs> I'll put it on the list. Um, it's not even insects. <laughs> crabs fall under this category. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crabs. Oh, but they're really crabs. icky, though. They, you, Dude, you I posted escape. the video. I posted the video of a bunch of crabs <laughs> in a baggage claim, and Rafi just yeah, comments, that's, "Icky." That's not for Rafi. <laughs> I can't. I can't with that stuff. I can't. <laughs> um, are cool. Uh, hey, but hey, yeah. I think you found an ally because, like, Charlie has this unreasonable <laughs> hatred for coconut crabs. Dude, hatred. coconut crabs look fucking. They look like monsters from a Final Fantasy game. They okay. are I a monster from a Final Fantasy game. Giant armored spiders with crab, a big though. fist. I'm, I'll try mm-hmm. to Google it. I am. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I mean, he's he's the, the 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 for, for science. Okay, Wait, you... Rafi, Rafi, mm-hmm. do you know what a coconut crab is? No, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to know. Dude, why is this a crab? Oh my god, coconut the... crabs are sick. But okay, they do these not people like do crabs. not know what coconut crabs I'm, look this like. This is gonna be my recommend, actually. <laughs> this coconut this crabs? YouTube coconut from National crabs? Geographic titled "Coconut Crabs Devour Pig Carcass." Shut searching up. for Shut Amelia. Right Shut up. Right it is. Now. It's just two oh minutes. Oh my god. I, I just searched for coconut crab on Google Images <laughs> and there is an image of a coconut crab attacking a chicken. Yeah. Um, Jesus I'm why freaking is out. This I'm freaking guy? out. I'm freaking they out. also why attack is small dogs? Out. Why is Dude, they can climb big? trees too. So. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. I can't. I can't. I can't. Wait, wait, wait. It's I'm the really size of a trash bin. Rafi's losing it. He's shut about up, to explode. Up, okay. I, I Donna's I, I doing I me a learning. She she says that coconut crabs attack any mammal smaller than them. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> not if it, only if, not if only that crab sees a baby that No baby guys, Rafi has taken off his headphones. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's I'm not listening. <laughs> okay, okay. Has taken okay. Off the Let us stop talking about okay, okay. coconut crabs. Yeah, yeah, you know, cuz you can't mod <laughs> yeah. that out of real life. It's fine, yes, Rafi. Yes, Charlie yes. will kill them all Thank as you. he says mm-hmm. in chat. That's his yes. new mission. <laughs> kill all the coconut kill crabs before the, coconut, the crabs. coconut crabs kill babies. It's like Goblin Slayer, but it's Charlie and coconut crabs. <laughs> oh God! He just is hates Charlie them. the Goblin Slayer of coconut them. crabs. <laughs> Attack! What the did the coconut, coconut crabs do to your village, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> did they... <laughs> Jesus! I tried googling it, and then did Charlie like, the, learn the tiny... how to kill coconut crabs from a Rafi, coconut do crab? Do not, do not okay, look okay. at a coconut crab. Okay, yeah, it's it, it's Jesus pretty dang Christ, scary, yeah, dude. Do not, Especially... do not look at it. I am also telling you, okay. it's it's <laughs> not a crab. That's it's something. It's not. It's not a it's crab. Not, it's an aquarium monster. Spider that learned. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a. Yes, it is a monster from the latest set of of <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus oh my God! Please, crab. okay. So, yes, the reason. 
If only there no were graphic. mods in real life, because that's what happened with me in Fallout. Like, I started going down the rabbit hole of mods. As it started with, it started with, um, uh, what's it called? Insectophobia mod, and that's yeah. like, okay. like I, the usual, you know, the usual thing I download, but not for. This is my first time doing it for New Vegas, so I do it. Mm. Replace everything with uh, just the the ghouls this time, which are like zombies. So like. I'm free. I'm free from this curse. Zombies are fine. Um, but then I started like exploring. I've never really gotten into like all the all the more complicated mods, like the texture packs and like the the app super redesigns of the stuff. Sure. So I started doing that. I went I went down, down, down that rabbit hole, and uh, it's and it, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 mods installed right now. <laughs> I got like... Um, N? Yeah, like... Uh, what's it called? Ne- uh, I, crabs. Yeah. And uh, for example... Actually, these aren't too crazy. Like, it's just a bunch of like realistic wasteland lighting and like mm. uh, Nevada so skies. It's not all uh, phobia. Mm. No, 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 no. No. Sensors. There's just one for for phobia, like the Ted's insects replacer. There it is. <laughs> um, thanks, Ted. Thanks, Ted. You're looking out for me. I love his talks. Yeah. What a good guy. <laughs> yeah, big. I Rex. love his talks. Oh, yeah. uh, there's there's like um, my favorite one is Electro City because when you when oh, that you, sounds sick. Yeah, when when you when you go to because New Vegas, the big deal is the Strip, right? You go to mm-hmm. the Vegas Strip, and it's supposed to be like this wasteland version of of the Vegas Strip with all the lights and stuff. Well, when you get there in Vanilla Fallout, it's like super underwhelming. <laughs> like oh. there's just there's barely any lights and like besides, it's, it's like super nothing. When you inst- I mean, it's an apocalypse, right? That's true, but like it's still even for apocalypse standards, it's like super underwhelming <laughs> yeah so i installed electro city mod which likes which like uh puts a bunch of neon stuff in it everywhere so it looks super cool now um i, I want to go i want to go into the other like fallout like the crazy mods like the one with the randy savage i haven't i haven't <laughs> done that yet the one where you if you hit a death claw it just like talks like Randy Savage. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Those exist. <laughs> I want to. I want to delve into those other ones because. But like, um, what's what's holding me back is that with the amount of mods I've started to install, I think I'm destroying the game. <laughs> oh, so that's, no. that's a thing. Yeah. It's it's been starting to like, um, it's it's been starting to like get corrupted. Like some of the mods cause it to, like one time. Um, I installed a mod that changes the the stars, like it makes it mm-hmm. more colorful and stuff like that at night. But in the morning, um, for some reason, I just broke the skybox. <laughs> like, nice. <laughs> it just instead of a clear blue sky with clouds, it just projects like pictures of brownies <laughs> and like street pavements, like texture. It's the texture of brownies, street pavements, and a bunch of like rocky road looking things. And, and that's my skybox now. So I had to take off. That's what happens, Rafi. Yeah. You sacrifice visuals for power. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's Fallout. I'm still playing the Fallout. It's still pretty good. Nice. Um, what else happened? Uh, oh, dude, I, I, I did Sherlock. I, I started watching Sherlock. Oh Again. no! Oh, did you Again. watch oh, BBC Sherlock? Sherlock? I didn't super. No, that like was it me. Before. No, yeah. Oh, you you didn't like it either before. Okay. Okay, lang. Parang, what about now? Mm, it got better. Are you, it are got you better. watching? Now you see me again in another <laughs> form called Sherlock. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> um, I got super tired of Money Heist and how they think they're being smart and shit. So I wanted to show. I wanted to watch a show that's that's actually really smart. So oh, Sherlock kind no. kind of kind of scratches that itch a little a little bit like. It, just How far do you get? Um, we're in season four Sherlock. now. Oh wow! Isn't yeah, that the yeah. the latest one? Yeah, yeah. I yes. think that's the latest one. Um, it it's it's good. I like it. I'm I'm liking it now. 
uh, more than more than I did because like maybe maybe I'm at peace with Moriarty now like he <laughs> because is, he's dead <laughs> he, peace he, with it him, was huh? just him <laughs> he, yeah it he was just him. he was the Ooh, one Ruffy. that kind of the red guy, the red guy. <laughs> he's basically just the red guy but like it's when, me, when, when I'm Moriarty Moriarty uh, look at me Sherlock something like that corn so, cob yeah, yeah, man yeah. Walk this way, Sherlock. <laughs> and he bounces on his butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it way more than before. Um, the wedding episode. Have has, have ever, uh, have have any one of you gotten to the wedding episode yet? Yep. Have you, it's, dude? It's that was a good. Nice. That yeah. was a good one. That was a good one. That was probably the strongest. Um. Is season four the last the season? Whole. I think so. Is it, it was the latest so. season, right? Yeah. Yeah. The one big deal is though, like, it it feels like it's super cheating when it just explains away stuff. <laughs> like I said, it's always yeah. cheating. That's like, the reason why I don't like that show. It's now you see me, but in a different skin. <laughs> mm. Look, the answer mm. was up my ass all along. There's yeah. that. There's that. There's <laughs> also, want... yeah. No, no, the Sherlock in my heart will always be Robert Downey Jr. saying "discombobulate." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's actually cool. That's actually, like, I cannot see Watson really cool. as as uh, Bilbo the Baggins. Hobbit boy. Yeah, I I see yeah, Watson yeah, I like as him. Jude Law, uh, really? professional blogger and um, <laughs> swindler in Contagion. Because Jude Law's version of Watson was cool. Yeah. The I mean, Hobbit dude makes him makes like the classic Watson, which is kind of an idiot. Yeah, that is oh. true. I like I like Hobbit dude. I like Hobbit dude's take. He's more. Well, he, like, he's great. It's just that his version of the Watson is ah, the dumb Watson. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. They, like, I do the like the Watson. the throwback in. I think I'm not sure if it's the it's the <laughs> premiere of season four. Or it's in season three where mm-hmm. Watson suddenly sports a mustache. <laughs> And then Sherlock uh, yeah, 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 called yeah, yeah. him out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that? Is that in your mouth? Yeah, yeah. And then he ends up shaving it and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what I was pertaining to was like stuff happens. For example, like uh, a main character dies, and then explain away. It's fine. It's yeah. a, it ends up this way. So um, it feels super cheating. Like, uh, for example, in in. The first one when are we clear on spoilers? Are we? Yeah, it's I fine. Don't I don't mind. think. Fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I don't mind. I feel like warning to the end. audience. I guess I already okay. forgot about it. Okay. So <laughs> from what I remember, in the last the season was the other homes. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. There's what? another homes. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah, Minecraft. That was, that one. That was good. Mine I Minecraft guess. homes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, Mine, are you Minecraft serious? Homes, that, not right? Minecraft homes. Are you? What sure? does that mean? Micro, yeah. Is he a Micro. square? <laughs> oh no, I'm not talking about he, sure. I'm, I'm not talking about Minecraft. Oh, I haven't. Oh, yeah. The, I, I'm right where they're alluding to. There's another homes that's okay. not Minecraft and that's yeah. not Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. 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 So yeah, you know, like when when sure for example when Sherlock dies, fucking. It, like it, I you see it. It happens. It happens, and it looks like it's an airtight death. Like it happened. Yeah. It really happened. And then, and then that was the. I think the the teaser for season four was like Sherlock is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I think season three. And then season when they well, when yeah. they come back in season three, it's this like super elaborate hoax that ends mm-hmm. up like ex- like retconning everything. Like. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, how I to didn't feel like about that, that one. I didn't like that either. <laughs> There's also now you see me calibers of. I, no, um, I think it's straight up Sherlock <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, straight up Sherlock shit. Uh, the um, internet. For for example, also in <laughs> in the ending of season three, um, Sherlock makes a big bad. He 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 is he's outplayed by the guy who knows everything, right? And he okay. he does the bad, and he's he ends up killing the dude, right? <gasps> He ends up killing yes. the dude, and then in front of in front of like Mycroft's men and all the government agents and stuff like that. So, 
he gets punished for it. He gets exiled. They end up like exiling him on a plane and shit. And then immediately, yeah, immediately in the same episode, he's called back on the same plane, and the plane turns around, and then he's like, parang re- absolved of his sins, and then it's on to the next adventure. <laughs> oh. Like I hate, mm. I hate that nothing sticks. Like in lang. That's that's mm. kind of the a thing that, that I'm episode not per episode basis. He got Sherlock, kind of. baby. Yeah, I'm getting Sherlock, but you know he it's got still Sherlocked. it's still hella better than 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 Money Heist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm Money <laughs> Heist is like I don't get it, man. I don't get why it's so popular. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, fuck. I don't I don't understand it either. Uh, um, I don't understand it. I would rather have Benadryl Cumberbund any day yeah. than fucking Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like yeah. as soon as, as soon as like the second Tokyo monologue came on, I'm like I'm so oh, done God. with this monologue. Oh, no. I forgot. I'm so Tokyo done with your monologue and that. So done with your voice <laughs> and your fucking observations of the world and how Wait, you and really want to bone this, is this other late boy. And this is you watching the dub version, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh <gasps> man! Imagine if it's in it, Spanish. Is the Spanish version <laughs> worse? I, I mean, bad I mean, also. No, but it's it's Tokyo. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's, it's Tokyo. It's Tokyo. You just know. It makes the whole city of Japan like worse. Like yeah. the actual Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Denver. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, also, another thing that I did like immediately after. So last week was my birthday, right? So for yeah, yeah. happy birthday for my happy actual happy birthday. birthday. Hey, thanks. Um, what are you guys getting me? Where? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We're still thinking about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So what? Uh, what I ended up doing last week was like I started. I I, I kind of gave myself a gift in a way that I okay. started streaming. As I wanted to stream something on Twitch, like on my own. Yeah, dude. And I did it. I did the yeah, near. I love streamed it. near Automata. It was fun. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. I just couldn't get past that stupid hacking game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you're like not I said, supposed to... to be fair, that was the hardest hacking segment of that but entire game. Yeah, that is really the hardest hard. one. But like, yeah, that tower is kind of a bitch. People were absolutely yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. In the chat, the graphic, just go left, please. <laughs> I couldn't understand what they were saying at first. Like the other were, left, yeah. In, the first left. The first, first left. Someone just said, "What if he went left? What's there?" Yeah, that's basically. It. I, yeah, then <laughs> Rafi did show it. He he peeked. I peeked, but he didn't actually enter the room. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but I peeked and nothing triggered. I so I didn't trigger what was in the room. Yeah, so you didn't I go just, deep enough for I it to trigger. I just assumed. Okay, nothing's there. See. Are you happy yeah. now? And then it just went right. When everyone assumes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like 13 different tries just on that one minigame. And I almost <laughs> had it too. <laughs> I almost had it too. Like there was... Uh, I mean, the, it did get rid of all the salmon. The salmon blocks? Yeah, but you yeah. did You did have it a few times. But then you touched the wall and that's what would kill you. Yeah. The, the wall. The wall is the one that makes it tricky. And you know, like the, the auto lock during hacking. Yeah. Since it gets negated the moment you push the right stick, and uh, since initially you're constantly pushing the right stick, you don't feel the lock on. I see. So that's mm. what's and there's been no happening. lock on icon, right? The arrow will just instantly snap to whatever right. it locks on. That's how right. you tell. Uh, I was expecting there to be a lock on icon. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So R two does and really game, hack on. I don't. Locking. I think the game doesn't tell you that there's lock on during hacking either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, so that's just the thing that you people. discover. Um, yeah. So I got pretty close. Like according to, uh, dude, you're there. Miguel. You're at yeah. the end game. Yeah. yeah. Is that it? That's basically that was it. it. Oh, Once, dude. Like the the tower this... is the point of no return mm-hmm. uh-huh. if you want a side quest around. Uh huh. Because that's that's you're you're straight shotting it to the ending already at that point. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. You can totally do you're it. The final stretch, so, and it's one dude. of a it's a wild ride. Yeah, that's just one more sitting. You're done. Yeah. I'm I'm super excited to do it tomorrow. I'm doing it tomorrow. I'll I'll finish the the thing tomorrow. Um, I'll most likely stream it. No, I'm gonna stream it. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, and then do it, do it, do it. And like I can't believe how easy it is to stream on the PS4. Like I was yeah. trying. Uh, you you just basically plug in everything, and then you're good to go. 
then you you uh this like for you example just share broadcast it you just share the broadcast you you link your twitch and then that's basically it right i just ran into yep. a problem of like what do i use for audio and then oh mic for the mic yeah. i just i just plug the usb into the mic and into the play, playstation 4 mm-hmm. and then we good so yeah I'm excited. Looking to forward to yeah. the stream. And now you can your... totally download FF7 while you play. That's exactly. Yeah, you yep. can do that. That's the plan. And then, like, um, in the next few Sundays, I, I, I got something to do. I got the FF7. Yeah, uh, yeah awesome, baby. Awesome. We're gonna Big yell at you on that game. Big Rafi, quarantine do the activities. Thing. I can't wait to be Unga Boonga Cloud. <laughs> 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 just die at the third level. <laughs> Raffy Oonga throw Boonga stone. Cloud. <laughs> it's not oh effective. god. I don't get it why I'm dying. I keep attacking it while it's casting an attack. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> why am I taking oh so much damage? I, sh- I should look for that thread. Mm. I yeah. It sounds oh. painful. I got a few of those comments about like, oh my god, I hate how it's a hack and slash now. Oh god. Lol. And then like uh-huh. we're all like, it's it's not though. <laughs> It's, it's really, really not. not. Oh my god! You would be surprised. What are you who talking who about? Did you play the demo? <laughs> right. Can't wait. Can't anyway, wait. can't wait. Yes, yeah. um, I think that's all our weeks. That I think that host, is man. all our weeks. Yeah. Let's jump in to Rex. Who got a rec for me, baby? Mm-hmm. I got a rec for you. All right, you. I got you. a rec for you. Stand Rafi. up, Emil. Stand in your truth yes, yes. and face I, the class. I will stand up. I will stand up in my truth and recommend to you guys something that I found and actually, actually tagged you guys in like, like, oh. like, uh, um, probably a few hours ago or oh. something. Sure. Okay. So, oh. this game looks like it was made for us. So <laughs> I a hundred percent recommend. This game on Steam right now that is called that is called Tanuki Sunset. It's out now. So uh, look yeah, it up. Like I was about to say, is look it, it up. out. It is called Tanuki you Sunset. Now it is. Oh, no, no, no. It's not out yet. Fuck. But it, it it already has a Steam page, and oh, it's shit. planned to release spring 2020. But so basically, dang, that's pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Oh. Super soon, and basically Tanuki Sunset. Is this fucking fucking rad looking longboarding game where you play a longboarding raccoon in this fucking vaporwave fucking landscape and it looks sick. If you guys want to be a cool ass vaporwave raccoon on a longboard, I 100% recommend Tanuki Sunset. It's everything we ever wanted in a video game. This is everything Not to I've take anything away from FF7, but this is also... Everything I've wanted in a video game. So <laughs> the big two, ch- yeah, the big two. The FF Seven remake and the Tanuki Sunset. Sunset. <laughs> Nothing so, comes closer. So if you guys want to be as excited as I am about a longboarding raccoon <laughs> with great aesthetics and soundtrack, please check out the indie game Tanuki Sunset. I'm gonna wreck it. Cool. Yeah. That's it. That's it for me. A game that that will revolutionize how games are made. Dude, (laughs) it's it's a raccoon on a longboard. What else do you want? It's a longboard (laughs) game, so it's something new. It's not it's not trick boards. It's basically longboarding. You're you're longboarding down long stretches of highway as a raccoon. Yeah. What else can you get? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What else good? I mean, what else better can you get out of it? You know? Yeah, it. not much. The pinnacle not of much. video games after Tanuki yeah, Sunset. Yeah, FF Seven remake, yeah. Tanuki Sunset, and then shut it down. That's, <laughs> shut, that's yeah. game, shut, game shut it all down. Of the year. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. No one, no one tried to make video games anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slam dunk right, contest it. is over. <laughs> uh, that's my wreck. I'm gonna wreck right. it. Who got it? Who got it next? I am gonna wreck another video game, okay. and it's coming out Ooh. this April 24. Oh, the game is called XCOM Chimera Squad. <gasps> that's a There's game. There's a new XCOM. A new Ooh. XCOM that is mostly grounded because it is. It's just. Uh, it's basically XCOM slash SWAT. Ooh. So the story is that this XCOM is a police force uh-huh. and it handles crime. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Sick. And in this world, uh, this is this is after XCOM 2, uh, and people and aliens are now living in harmony. Really? And of course, there, okay. there are bad aliens who still break the law, and it's up to this Chimera Squad to stop them and bring justice. Sick. It's cool. Um, one new feature that this game has is breaching. Ooh. And uh, basically, that's it. Like, um, if you're familiar with breaching in tactical games that's it uh they added this layer uh in the first few minutes of each um skirmish Mm -hmm. where you plan where your players or your uh, squad will enter or will breach in Mm -hmm. so there's this ready mode or ready phase before the game actually begins Mm -hmm. so it's cool like uh it's basically police uh xcom police xcom squat and the art style is pretty sick. Like it's yeah. it's nice. it's, uh, it's like a comic book right now. It looks like that anime GI Joe, mm-hmm. like or whatever that was. Yeah, and it's just cool. three hundred seventy five pesos in Steam right now. Oh wow, now. cool! It's dirt cheap, dirt cheap. And I know I will be streaming this next week for sure. Right. I wanna nice. I wanna dabble into this one. Uh, nice. So yeah, I'm gonna wreck this one. Uh, XCOM Chimera mm. Squad gonna wreck it you better no. wreck it you better wreck good it. lineup so far tanuki yeah, yeah. sunset <laughs> chimera chimera squad xcom yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. who we'll go with x Are you, is rock paper scissors me it's me okay you go <laughs> i i papered uh, okay. i don't know um, my wreck isn't as exciting as the other two okay okay uh it's i'm gonna recommend the, U- the youtube channel not our uh, youtube the youtube channel mm-hmm. tasty Ooh. oh because yeah. since everyone is stuck at home what Tasty has been doing is their like content creators or like their writers or whatever oh, have shit, actually bugs. been recording themselves preparing like meals at home mm. like in their individual whatever setup and like the prod value is pretty good mm-hmm. also i think the 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 trend they're trying to do is each of them are showing like three things you can do with this one ingredient so oh. like there's one that like here's three things you can prepare with a single can of spam. Here's three things that you can pair with egg. And then mm. no, they're they're like pretty interesting and simple enough to try out. I would so. I would have to say that that is not any less exciting than Tanuki Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Various ways to utilize spam is just as exciting as a <laughs> raccoon on a longboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see it. I see how that could be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they also imagine the Nuki like, like making the food on a longboard. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, we found I out a way to make this better. I need a new set of pants right people now. People <laughs> in this channel uh, that are familiar, like this this lady called Rie, uh-huh. uh, at the dessert oh, snob. Oh, so Rie, 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 the tasty producer. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? Nice. You, you, you know the I one thing it. I hate, though? You know the one thing I hate? Because oh, yeah. um, I'm an avid follower of the dessert snob, Rie. Mm-hmm. But whenever Tasty like um, brings out a video of her, it's always, can this chef make this dish oh, fancy? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yo, yo <laughs> everyone <laughs> follows this lady and her name is Rie. It's not this chef, okay? Yeah, yeah, Put yeah, her yeah. name that's, in the title, goddammit. That's how God they get it. you in, dude. God yeah. damn it. Uh. This one game developer made Metal Gear. <laughs> Can this developer make <laughs> Flamin' yeah. Hot Cheetos, Metal Gear? <laughs> Kojima it's is Phil Fish. Um, <laughs> Are you guys aware of Binging with Babish? Yeah. Yes, I fucking yeah. love Binging so with Babish. He's also appeared on Tasty a few times. Mm. Really? And um, one of the videos he made was he made three types of pasta. Mm-hmm. Like, here's the, here's the two-minute one. Here's the something like one hour one and here's the five hour one. Oh shit so like the the first one is just a pretty simple like uh pre like noodles you buy in a shop and then he makes the sauce etc etc mm-hmm. like it's a lot more fancier than like say what i'm capable of i got mm-hmm. damn that's the low tier stuff damn then the next huh. one is like he starts making his own noodles etc etc he'll make the sauce from scratch and then the final one is like the most elaborate version that you can think of and like they, they all look so good Dude, I fucking love. Watch uh, it hungry. I fucking love binging with Babish. Um, uh, if you guys remember, I I tagged you guys in one of his videos where he attempts to create uh 
the common cold cure from Keenan and Kel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I man. Oh, I have to mm-hmm. one for the team I also, by tasting mm-hmm. it. I also saw him <laughs> guest in one of uh, the episodes of The Chef Show. Ooh. That that show for from uh, who's that director yeah. from Iron Man? John Favreau. And John Favreau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's his uh, Netflix okay, show. Chubica. So yeah, yeah. Actually, binging with Babish references that show like a few times. Yeah, uh, he was there for. Like I stole a lot this of idea from and, Chef. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. show. <laughs> he likes it. He likes that movie a lot. Dude, that movie's like pretty cool. Yeah, the Cuban uh, sandwich shop. Yeah, 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 movie. The Chef. That's good. Oh. Yeah. Dude, Jimmy King is in there. In yeah, actually, re- yeah, that's actually, a good recommend. Jimmy actually, King. Chef, Chef, the movie Chef, is Chef's a good, good recommend. Oh, huh. you haven't well, watched right. it, Emil? <gasps> no, I have not. I <laughs> no, I mean Emil. I oh, no, I have not. I oh, have not. it's good. Um, that sounds like Homer. When he was preparing for his role in the movie, he consulted the chef of uh, that famous food truck in L.A. Uh, think his wait a minute i'm going to bastardize another american korean chef's name oh Just boy Roy Choi. another one <laughs> Roy Roy Choi. Choi. <laughs> yeah the the creator of gourmet korean mexican taco truck kogi mm-hmm. so Kobe. he consulted with uh, Roy Choi on you know the basics of cooking and uh what what to do with the uh, with food trucks and all that so, yeah. Tell Winston it's, you it's, can it's, shove a Roy Choi back his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but yeah, this uh-huh. is yeah, that's a good recommend too. All right, will, Sick. You, will you wreck that, Mickey? I will wreck it. Nice. All right, uh, I guess it's time for my one. My one is a YouTube channel that's called Other Places. Um, other places. Yeah, and what Other Places is is just uh, a collection of like slow panning camera shots from different video Ooh. game worlds so oh, you got like okay. you got Ooh. like fallout boston there like they're just showing the world like in with the music and everything you got uh rapture from bioshock um we got like cool. lothric got from it. dark souls Sick. Um, just a bunch of stuff like it's just something like that's super calming that you could put in the background like it, mm-hmm. it feels like uh, a screensaver of the, all the different worlds and stuff like that. So other places on YouTube. Yeah. Sick. Toit. Yeah. Toit. Sounds toit. Oh. Sounds like a good trade. That does feel like a good trade. That was a pretty good goddamn trade. Yeah. Damn. For, uh, for more episodes and for more good trades, you can find us on Spotify and other podcast services. You can also hit us up on the socials, uh, facebook.com slash goodtradesbrigade. Is that mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Twitter.com slash G- GT <laughs> Brigade. Sorry. Brigade. <laughs> and, I didn't hear it. Uh, Instagram, G- uh, Good Trades Podcast. Yeah. yeah. And. And, 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 if you guys would love to support us, we do have a Patreon, but since we are in the middle of a COVID crisis, Mm -hmm. we suggest you save that money, use it for yourself, use it for relief goods, donate that shit, and if you guys want to support us, just listen, just share, hang out with us, make us go less crazy by hanging out (laughs) with us on stream. Yes, please. Guys, and, just talk to us, please. And, and think about us. Think about us. But give give, yeah. give us thoughts. Yeah. Give, give us, us like, prayers, mm-hmm. baby. Yeah, give us prayers. That's like. that's the best support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the best support. But you could also check out our Patreon at www.patreon.com <laughs> slash good If you have, like if yeah, if your circumstances allow it, we sure would appreciate it keeping the lights on and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So and we we'll use that money on on the important stuff. Yeah. The and important of course, stuff. Uh, thank you for all who um, dropped by mm-hmm. during this stream. Um, yeah. Asicon, <laughs> contemplate, Asicon. <laughs> contemplate. Uh, Rob Cham, uh, uh, will, work will work for games. Hey, Martin. Hey, hey what's up? Uh, Sundial nine one one. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure is. either. Yeah. We got a random. Uh, cool. yeah, Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Van Turin is here for some really? reason. Oh, I didn't nice. know. Van Turin. What? What? Hey, oh, they see there, old boy. 
<laughs> I'll say. <laughs> and he's gone. He's gone. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. And with that, that, we close this episode of the Good Chase Brigade. Keep it going. Uh-huh. Keep, it Keep it going. going. Hey. What's the other thing? Boys, Boys, be ambitious. Be ambitious and keep it going. And the mayor. <laughs> Discombobulate. The best. Discombobulate. The very Discombobulate. best. Discombobulate. Discombobulate. <laughs> Discombobulate. I kind of want to watch that, that, that yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Right. Yeah. Family, family, family. You creep on the family. You creep on all of us. <laughs> Pretty sure that's from Spider Man, not Son from Godfather. Get on the cream, Spider Man. You creep on one of us. You creep on all of us. <laughs> that's one uh, for you, listener. <laughs>